and Terrell Coleman. Jenkins gets it on the five now to the 15 and brought down right at about the 23-yard line. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Exciting Panthers Sports. The Panthers getting ready to take on the Delta Devils. Uh, Mississippi Valley State, yours truly, Charles Bishop, the entire Panther sports broadcast team on hand for more exciting coverage here of Panther football. Yes, indeed. Getting ready for a great one today with the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. Looking forward to a Panther win today, Charles. Oh, man, we need it really, really bad. Uh, I tell you, Alcorn and Gramlin going at it down there. We're pulling We're pulling for Alcorn. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, they are in a barn burner. That one is uh, just under two minutes left to go in that one. Is that Worsham? Connor Worsham getting the start for the Panthers. Uh, quick pass, right side, quick catch. Jenkins catches it. Close to the first down. Yeah, great job, Brian Jenkins. That time sitting down in the zone. And Brian Jenkins is a name that Coach Bubba McDowell, he pointed out this week. He's looking for him to have a big game. Ahmad Antoine will check in for the Panthers. Jenkins will go up top with Sherman. And the Panthers facing a second and call it six. Conley. Drops back, looks right, throws right, and looking for the tight end. But uh, to no avail, too many people over there. Dylan Domo, the sophomore from San Antonio, Texas, the intended receiver for the Panthers. Yeah, that time defensive back, Jamison Lindsey for the Delta Devils. He was all on top of that play. Brings up third and two here for the Panthers. Uh, the Panthers are going to bring the big backs in. Let's see, is Antoine in? Are they going to go uh, with an open backfield? No back in the back. Open backfield, double slot, Domel, the tight end is far side. Conley sees something he's like, changes the play, drops back to pass, looks right, throws it up. It's the one-on-one, -on -one, the Savage. Here we go. Yes, he catches it, and it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Great checkoff. That's a Daquan Bloomfield with the catch. Great checkoff there by Trezon Conley. Yeah, Trezon Conley, he saw the one-on-one -on -one down at the bottom down there with Jaquan Bloomfield. Bloomfield using his speed to break downfield. First and ten for the Panthers. Here in the only going, going, folks, 14-11. Into the first. Conley with, uh, let's see, is that Worsham? No, he's going to keep it going around the right side with a run option pass. And, oh, man, great defense coming down and making the big stop for the Mississippi Valley Delta Devils is Jaron Fox, a junior from Cordell, Georgia. Yeah, Fox did not go for the play action fake that time. Was able to hone in on Conley and bring him down for the sack. Jaron, pardon me, Jaron Fox. Jaron Fox on the stop. Uh, for a loss for the Panthers. They lose seven yards on the carry. Now that's going to um, bring up, a, well, six yards. That's going to bring up a second and 16 on the 31 for the good guys. Yeah, and, and Coach McDowell, he's talked about this, two steps forward, one step back. You can't have those negative plays and play behind the chains. Trips right. Here comes Bloomfield in motion. Bunches on the right side. Quick pass. Bloomfield wide open. Throws a move. Gets around and dives towards the 20-yard line, still going to be shy of the first down by about seven, but great pass that time by Conley. Yeah, Bloomfield found a soft underbelly there in the zone and was able to turn it up for a nice little gang. Brings up third and short here, third and six here for the Panthers. The Panthers trying to get the playoff quick. Conley sees something else he likes. Antoine gets it right up the middle, and yeah, <laughs> Antoine takes two people with him. He carries two. You love to see that, Ahmad Antoine. He dropped his shoulder and got the first down. Looked like he was going to be stopped a little bit short, but to no avail, first down for the Panthers as he kept the legs driving. Yeah, Ryan Quinney, the sophomore from – now you got to help me out this one. Nuxaby, N-O-X-U-B-E. Nuxaby -E. County. Nuxaby yes. County, hey. Nuxaby he, County. Yeah, yeah, they got great boot in there. Oh, man, a bad snap, and Conley has to fall on it. Had a chance to pick it up and do something with it, but he falls on it. The Panthers lose 20 yards on that one. Yeah, Gosh. that was a smart play that time by Conley, just falling on it. You want to live for another down, but like I said, you, you can't have these self-inflicted wounds, and that's something that Coach McDowell, it has driven him uh, absolutely berserk with this football team. Connor Wisham will check in, the sophomore from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And uh, we're trying to find folks who don't have any crowd noise today. I'm sure you noticed. Uh, we're going to have uh, Cameron just uh, scream and holler and say yay and get a pom-pom <laughs> and shake it in the background there. Here we go. Double slot in the backfield. Is that Worsham? I can't see the number. Yeah, that's Connor. Uh, that's uh, – Looks like Wisham. No, that's right Johnson. Yeah, Wisham with number two. Oh, wide open that time was Bloomfield coming across the middle. He was wide open. Only 
Only one man to beat there. That's a sure six for the Panthers there. Yeah, Brian Jenkins was coming across the formation, and he was wide open. Conley's got to hit that. Brings up a third and long, third and 27 here for the Panthers. Pass a little high for Jenkins. And we've got to get on. I'm looking up for Kobe Cabell to also get involved. Yeah, you gotta get Cav- you gotta get him involved. Oh, that's your no, that's your nephew, yeah. hush. No, no, that's your, I'm telling on you. Here we go now, double slot. He can play though for real. Here we go. Here comes uh, Jenkins in motion. Conley with the snap drops back, looks across the middle, going through his reads. First read, second read. He's gonna run it. Gets to the thirty yard line now and brought down at the twenty five. The Pens gonna have to settle for a field goal. Yeah, that time the Delta Devil defense uh, they dropped eight in coverage, and that's something that we've talked about looking at film. You see that a lot in this conference. Third and long, they drop eight in coverage. Conley wasn't able to find anybody, and that was a great job by Lucas Banks to chase him down from behind. Three opportunities missed. Three mistakes here. Two. Touchdowns missed right here yeah. in the opening drive. We've got to stop these mistakes. Yeah, these self-inflicted wounds, that is one of, uh, unfortunately, what has been one of the themes this season. Back to kick it away. It's deep, long enough, short enough, and good enough for the score. Carlos, is that Villa Gomez or was that uh, number 40, Guillermo Rodriguez? That was number 40, Guillermo Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Yes, indeed. Uh, they've been really switching in the longer Kicks, it seems that uh, Rodriguez is going in. Yes, exactly. The extra points, Villa Gomez is going in, and the mm-hmm. Panthers are really uh, doing a good job with uh, their kicking game. I mean, they, they've, they've done a great job, folks. Yeah, Rodriguez, he, he has a game winner to his ledger. Nice kick that time as the Panthers are able to come away with some points there in the opening drive. Hey, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Increased awareness and early detection through regular screening have put a breast cancer deaths on the decline. Research shows that breast cancer screaming with monography can detect cancer early when it is treatable. If you're a woman 40, talk to a doctor about scheduling your annual mammogram today. Not everyone shares the same breast cancer risk level, so go ahead and see your doctor today. Didn't want to read the rest of that one. Uh, I'm just going to let that one. They start talking about <laughs> yeah, I, I just think I might just want to let that one go. <laughs> yeah, just going to let that one go. Not going to get into that one there. Uh, let that one ride. Yeah, I'm going to let it ride. Uh, Kobe Chambers and Kobe Bates. The Kobe's are back deep for the Delta Devils. Chambers, a sophomore from Greenwood, Mississippi. Right there, hometown and homebred right there in Mississippi. Great catfish down there in Greenwood. Oh, tremendous catfish. I mean, Never it just tastes different. Yeah, man. Just taste. Did you know that, well, I guess you are from Jackson, so you did know that uh, Mississippi uh, at one point in time in history was the largest producer of farm-raised catfish in America. I do know that very well. <laughs> Here we go. Catching it on the five-yard line is uh, oh, Richard oh, Eagles. And nice man, hit. Boom, boom, boom. Let's hear it, man. What a tremendous swashbuckling hit. He's a pirate coming in for the Panthers. And Adrian Lacey, the linebacker, he's a senior from Tyler, Texas, bringing the boom. I tell you what, Lacey ran his lane perfectly, was able to lower his shoulder and deliver a blow. Kapaya. Out for the Delta Devils. Are we going to see uh, Tajarian Williams today, or will we see Dino Maldonado? Let's see. 15 coming out there. We're going to see Williams today. And the uh, Delta Devils are going to open it up with the passing attack. Trips right, slot left. Williams brings Wilson in motion. Williams bring, comes to the right. It's a fumble. Oh, he didn't catch that one. Oh, yeah. He didn't have it long enough. Got it huh? knocked out. That play was a doom from the starters. Tajarian was not able to get the snap cleanly, uh, and that was an incomplete pass. He comes into this game 23 of 37, 62% on the season, 157 yards. He's a big and 6'3", 240 pounds, freshman from Aliceville, Alabama. I said Wills, uh, Williams. That's Jared Wilson, pardon me, folks, in the backfield with Williams. Williams, quick step drop and uh, seven step drop and uh, just a quick pass. And uh, not enough for the first down, but positive yardage calling that third and four for the uh, Delta Devils. Yeah, nice little easy play as he was uh, able to take the cushion that the Panthers were giving him. Big, big cushion. Yeah, big cushion, exactly. <laughs> Man, I'm, that could have been on two couches. That cushion was so big. All right, getting plays from the sideline is Williams. In the backfield, Wilson stands there. Down here at the bottom, we've got Rashad Eds. Eds, E-D-R, E-D-E-A-D-E-S. 
Yes, Rashad Eads. Eads, okay. Eads. He's also from Knoxville County. No, one of those Knoxville County kids. Man, there's a whole bunch of folks in Knoxville County. Here we go. Williams drops back, throws left. Oh, man, great catch there by the Loxby County guy. Is that 11? A pass complete. Is that 20? That's 11? No, it's 84. Yeah, it looks I'm like I'm sorry, I didn't see, didn't see that one. That's going to be Jay, uh, Jay Jackson Davis, the tight end from Glen Heights, Texas. Jackson Davis, big one. 6'5", 210. He's tall. Yeah, I tell you what, he did, did a great job at time. He got leveled as he caught the ball, but he was able to concentrate and keep the catch. First down, Devils. First and 10 on the 35. Here's the handoff to Wilson right up the middle. Wilson finding running room. Comes to the left, breaks another tackle. Gets across to the 40 and all the way down to the 35-yard line. Man, first down, big run by the Delta Devils. Yeah, another missed tackle right there in the hole that time, and he was able to spring it for a big gain. Delta Devils here on the move, and that's one thing Coach McDowell talked about. Got to wrap up. 925 and counting here in the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Porter and Charles Bishop bringing you all the play-by-play in color. Wilson gets it, stutter steps, and falls a couple of yards. Falls to get a couple of yards. Uh, second and call it eight or – Check that third. What is he doing? Second and eight. Yeah, second and eight for the Delta Devils. Yeah, a little extracurricular down there. <laughs> get a little chippy after that big run. <laughs> Checking in for the Delta Devils. Jacoby Thomas, another big tight end. Got him in the backfield. And that's one thing you uh, – that uh, Coach McDowell has said. You're going to see their tight ends a lot. You're going to see a little motion from Valley. Williams drops back. A lot of time looking across the middle. He has a man all wide open, and he catches it on the two-yard line on the wheel route there, wide open for the first down for Delta Devils. I'll tell you what, that was a tremendous throw that time by Tajerian Williams. He had Panthers bearing down on him in his face, but he was able to throw to a spot. Receiver ran to the spot, makes a catch, first down on the two-yard line. Eads on the catch for the Delta Devils with a big first down. The Delta Devils threatening the score here on their opening drive. Williams wants to keep it himself, and the Panthers are all over him there. Second and goal on the two-yard line for the Delta Devils. Yeah, good job that time by the Panthers as they came gang tackling. Like I said, Williams, he's a big kid, 6'3", 240 pounds. Look for him to have the ball in his hands down here, especially inside the five-yard line. 7.39 and counting. Williams try to sneak it in again. He's going to be pushing. No. The Panthers say, no, you can't get in that way. Yeah, a little tush push action that time. But the Panthers were able to do a great job keeping them out of the end zone. Panthers on the board first with three. Three to nothing to score. And that's going to bring up a third down and two. They go heavy third and again. one. They're going to go heavy jumbo again. Yes, third and indeed. one. The Panthers need one more stop. They can do it. Come on. Let's go, PV. Let's go. Right up the middle. Great no. penetration. No, no, no. They're still fighting. The Panthers are saying, no, he didn't break the plane. And what a defensive stand by the Panthers. Tremendous defensive stand. McKinney, Marshall, Presley, Vasquez up front doing a great job of keeping the Delta Devils out of the end zone. Well, they're going to try to go for it here on fourth down. The Panthers bring in some reinforcements. And are we going to kick it or are we going to try? They're going to try to get it in the end zone Going for it. We've seen two tush pushes. Look for play action here. you got to think somebody's trying to slide uh, out of the backfield or tight end, just trying to, you know, tip his head over the over the middle. You know about those tight ends, don't you? Yeah, I know, I know about them, especially <laughs> my ribs. Here we go right side now, the uh, Delta Devils. And as you said, play action pass. Here comes a man in motion to the right. False start. And false start by the uh, Delta Devils. That's going to push him back. They're going to bring in that kicking team if they're smart. Yeah. Number 71 jumps offside. Now he jumps to the sideline. Marquan Perkins. He's a big guy, 6'1", 300 pounds yeah, from got, Memphis, Tennessee. He got the motor running a little too early that time. It's had, now it looks like the Delta Devils will go for the field goal. Here. Yeah, that's going to be the smart thing to do. Big ups to the Panther defense now for uh, some great, great defense there on the line. Yeah, that was a tremendous job keeping the Delta Devils out of the end zone. Alexander Davis. To kick it away. The snap is back. The kick is up. And we're tied here, ladies and gentlemen, in the first quarter of play, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers, six minutes and four seconds left to play here in the first quarter. We're tied at three. Stick around. We'll be back with more in a second. Panther football.
Welcome back to Panther Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Porter and Charles Bishop, the Panthers, have allowed the uh, Delta Devils to match kicks. So we're tied at three here in the opening quarter. Uh, not uh, really, not a lot to talk about there on those drives. A couple of big runs. Uh, one big run, huge run for the Delta Devils. Uh, running back Jared Wilson. But other than that, not a lot to talk about here in the first one. Yeah, quarter. yeah, big pass down there that got them inside the five-yard line. Uh, but the Panthers' defense really showed and proved down inside the five, able to keep the Delta Devils out. 3-3 three, three is your score here in the first quarter play. Eads and Wilson wins for the Delta Devils on that last drive. Here comes Brian Jenkins from the 15. He's going to come around the right. He's got, He's got a lot of right. Got a seam there in the 15 to the 40. To the 45, the 50. The kicker has to beat him, and that was one man to beat. There was the kickers and another big run by the Panthers all the way out to the 45. Great field position. Great field position. Brian Jenkins found a seam along the left side over there. And like you said, only the field goal kicker could get out there and get to him as he sets the Panthers up with great field position on the 46-yard line. Well, he's a field goal kicker and a kicker, so we're right. I said field goal kicker. You, you just followed <laughs> right, follow right behind. Yeah, exactly. I'm just telling you, man. You better not run. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, that's okay. We got it right now. 556, quick quarter here in the uh, Panther Stadium. Slot right. A man in the backfield with Conley. Looks like Wisham. After that big run, man, rightfully so, that he gets back out there. Yeah. Wish him, and something's going on. The official stopping. Uh, what's going on? The official stopping uh, play. There's something on the field. Now, how did that get way out there? It is a cup. Okay. <laughs> Someone brought No, it's an iPhone. All right, it's an iPhone 15. Just go run down there and grab it. Wow. All right, here we go. Back to live action. Conley drops back, looks right, goes through his grease. Has another is. man one-on-one. -on -one. It's Bloomfield. Hey, where is it? He catches it. And, man, what a best pass interference, but he still catches it on the three-yard uh, line. Jaquan Bloomfield is having a day. Jaquan Bloomfield using his speed, racing down the sidelines, and he fought off the pass interference, was able to make the catch. Big play, Panther. There's no need to throw the flag. I caught it. But if you wouldn't have caught it, you think it would have thrown the flag? No. Have had to. Oh, no. man, come on. Here we go. They give it quickly. No, they're going to keep it. Conley's going to keep it and throws it into the end zone, throws it away. Bloomfield was standing there. That's a design run. Conley uh, having a conversation there with uh, Ryan Quinney, the linebacker. And uh, that's not real uh, smart to do with uh, Connie. Now, here comes Ahmad Antoine. Here comes our power back. He's been nursing a sore knee. Mm -hmm. So, uh, last week, uh, didn't even really see how many touches he got up. Folks, please forgive me. Uh, didn't really do my homework last week. I got an excuse, though, so I'm good this week. <laughs> Next week, you can just wreck me over the coals. Here we go. Double slot for the Panthers. Quick handoff right to Antoine, right up the middle. He'll get to maybe three. No, he'll push back for two. Yeah, Antoine slammed it right in there that time. Gets him inside the five-yard line, spot the ball on about the four-yard line. Third down. Third down. Yeah, that first play was that uh, incomplete oh, pass. Oh, incomplete yeah. pass. Okay, I'm going to say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am I missing something here? <laughs> Third and four on the four. Uh, that we should be scoring now. That should be third and goal. How about that? Well, this is this is. <laughs> well, they got third and four on the four. I mean, gee whiz. Yeah, going to be a huge play right here. Let's see what the Panthers come up with. What can they dial up? Here? They got an eye backfield going here now. When is the last time you seen that? Right up the middle and pushing and pushing. Here comes the pile. Pushes over to the very very close, but not enough. About maybe a yard, a half a yard shy. Of the end zone, I go for it. Yeah, a little fullback power. I, I go for time. it. I go yeah. for it, man. And you're not gonna, don't you send that kicking team out there. Let's go <laughs> for it. It looks like they're listening to you, Charles. They'll keep the offense out there. I didn't see it. Charles Bishop said it. I'm just two Charles is up here. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to blame you for everything. Okay, back to when I backfield. We hadn't seen that in a long time. Here we go. And Conley is going to push himself right in there. We're going to call him. They push him back. But he I forward mean, progress. He didn't get in there. Oh, you're kidding me. It was a good job by the Delta Devils. Well, you stopped my 
goal line, goal line stance, I'll stop yours. Yeah, yeah. Two wow, two stops. good defensive stops. Man, but we should have got in there. Come on, guys. Yeah, you, you just got to give credit to Bussy, Dietrich Jones, Lucas Banks, Matthew Miles, uh, the front four that time for the Delta Devils as they did a good job of keeping Conley out on a little quarterback sneak. Well, the Devils will have it on the four-yard line. First and ten. Well, no, on the one-yard line. Should be on the one. Where is it spotted? Yeah, they'll put them back about on the one, right at the one-yard line. Well, putting it on the two. That's I don't care. It should have been on the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they got it on the one-yard line. They have it on the one-yard line. Williams in the shotgun now with uh, the heavy jumbo in. Here comes Williams just trying to get out of the end zone. Does and picks up. Oh, almost fumbles that one. Drops it at about the four-yard line. The ball was on the, under game, on the one, a gain of three for the Panthers. Yeah, Williams was able to follow his right guard over there, was able to go right over him, pick up two or three, give him a little bit of breathing room, brings the ball out to about the four-yard line. Well, Charles, we have a – we got a final from Lorman here. Oh, man, okay. Am I going to be happy? Uh, let's see here. All corn 25, Grambling 24. I'm happy. Here we go there. Right side. Great defense, man. Way to clean up there on the right hand uh, side on that strong side coming in was Warren Shankle, the hero of the Texas Southern game. Yeah, Warren Shankle, great job that time. Getting off his block and making the tackle back there uh, for no gain there for the Delta Devils. Man, these are some very nice flip cards. I'm just sorry. <laughs> Got to give some people some props. These flip cards are great. All right, third down and call it seven for the Devils. The pan oh, a move, and there's a flag. Is it a, a legal motion? No free play. They let it play. The Panthers jumped off sides. Oh, wow. That time wow. the Delta Devils went with a hard count and was able to, like I get another self-inflicted wound. You just you can't have them. You, you simply can't have them. And the Panthers? Okay, what is it? Let's see. Wait, what, what's the call? Of course, we – have no mic feed, so we'll just have to go with uh, sign language. Uh, did you catch it? Yeah, it looks like it. Like I said, it was offside that time. Oh, oh man, wow. Mm -hmm. Third and one now. Gee, Willikers, guys. Come on, get your head in the game. DJ, stop beating on the table like that. It's going to be okay. <laughs> Third and one. 255 left to play here in the first. We'll take a break at the end of the quarter. And here we go. They hand it off on the right side on the jet sweep. Oh, man, and that's going to be enough for the first down coming around there. Uh, trying to put the Jets on was Kirk Ross, the junior from right there in Edabina. He he must have grew up playing a lot of sandlot football right there near uh, Mississippi Valley State. Yeah. Uh, the veteran, the hometown guy, Kirk Ross. Well-designed play that time, and Jackson Davis out in front up there uh, for the Delta Devils with the block to spring. And for the first down, Delta Devils move the ball out to the 16-yard line. Panthers showing blitz, and they're going to drop back into coverage. Good side. In motion and flags. Nope, there's a timeout call because the Panthers had smelled that one out. Yeah, Coach Wade did not like that. Wade whatsoever. didn't like Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would have been bad here, ladies and gentlemen. Folks, uh, it is two minutes and 16 seconds left to play here in the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers are tied with the Delta Devils at uh, three here in the early going. Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther sports. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word. It's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here.
Devils here with a second and 10 ball on the 16-yard line. Your quarterback for the Delta Devils is Tajarian Williams. Well, two split to the near side as they'll go with a handoff here, and the Panthers were all on top of that. Great job that time. Miles McCaney coming in from his right defensive end stop. The 6'3", 230-pound senior from Macomb, Michigan. Great play that time as he drops the Delta Devils for a loss. That'll bring up a second down here. So move the ball back to about the 10-yard line as the constabularies are discussing something down there. I didn't see a flag on the play. So we have a personal foul, unnecessary roughness that they will call on the Delta Devils here. So that will push the ball back inside the five-yard line. 131 left to play here in the first. We're tied at three, folks. Man, just some – Crazy stuff going on here. <laughs> so it brings up a third down here, Charles. Well, the Panthers, uh, again, with another opportunity to get good field position. We get a hold here, and then they'll have to punt it away. We should get good field position. Yeah, just drop back in coverage. Looks like a quick handoff here for the Delta Devils. Wilson, Panthers doing a great job. Yeah, Wilson just uh, off the right tackle. And the Panthers' defense there. Oh, thank you. That's exactly what I need here. Great job. Thank you so much. You're number one. I tell you, that sports information guru is right on top of it. <laughs> All right, that's going to bring up a fourth down, ladies and gentlemen. Fourth and 18 for the Delta Devils. Here's the kick. Kobe and Jenkins stays it off, and the Panthers will have it at, call it the 38-yard line? Yeah, put right at about the 38-yard line. Make that the 43-yard line. Alexander Davis just doing all of the duties for the Delta Devils, kicking, punting, and extra points. Iron leg, He's iron a leg. kick specialist. <laughs> Forty-one seconds left to play here in the first half, or first quarter, pardon me. And Conley has it. Conley drops back. Here's one on one, wide open. Jenkins, where's the flag there? They grabbed him on the shoulder. Oh wow! Where is the flag? Oh, no replay on that one, man. Look at the replay there. Golly gee, Willikers grabbed him right there on the shoulder. Yeah, the Prairie View coaches, they're all looking at the back judge back there, looking for he grabbed the, him. The oh, flag. he came right across the shoulder, pulled him around the right side. The back judge gets a demerit. <laughs> I guess they'll say the ball was uncatchable. Oh, was, come on. That was a tough one. That yeah, was a tough one. Yeah, come on. Where's the replay? Right. <laughs> We're, throw the red towel. We're, throw the red flag out. We want to want to challenge that one. <laughs> Demel will check in. Dylan Domel checks in and a timeout called uh, for the Panthers with 37 seconds left to play in the first quarter, folks. The Panthers will take a timeout. If you've just checked in, we are tied at three. Uh, as the official health care provider for Houston's premier professional sports team and fine arts organization, Houston Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine in Willowbrook offers world-class care to athletes at all levels. Whether you're a weekend warrior, student athlete, or an elite level professional, Houston Methodist is there for you. I need to go over here and check out, some, check out this old knee. How about that? Uh, folks, make sure... You mark your calendars when the Lady Panthers volleyball team participates in the West Cult Cluster, West Cluster, hosted by Texas Southern Sunday through Monday, October the 8th through the 9th. Uh, that's coming up. Uh, come out and support the athletes at the latest, and all the news can be found on pvpanthers.com. They call it a cluster? I thought it was the roundup. Is yeah, that, uh, well, they, I guess they call them both. Like, yeah. The cluster you wound up. They, yeah. they get them all together in a cluster, and they round up. How about that? Okay, there yeah, all right. <laughs> well, maybe maybe it's a misprint, or maybe they've changed the name. Who knows, folks? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say congratulations to Coach Sheree Lindsay and the Lady Panthers on Monday night. They put it to 
the uh, Southern Jaguars. 3-1 was that final score in that match, man. But what a what a great job by Sheree Lindsay. Yeah, she's doing a tremendous job when you take a look at uh, her program. And uh, like you said, congratulations and kudos to her program. Yeah, I'm, I'm real excited about what she's uh, done for this program. And uh, the ladies are really energetic and exciting. And, I mean, they've got a great team, Naya Walker, Kylie Owens, um, the entire team over there, um, Janiah Henderson, who comes off the bench. He's a, a star, a freshman, man, and they've just got a lot of great players out there uh, and people on the bench that are just waiting to pay. Play. Yeah, 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 that's She's got a great bench, that great be, bench. That makes the mark of a great program. Got some scores from around Uh-oh, the swag. Uh-oh, what do we got? Let's take a look around the swag. This game is in Mobile, Alabama. 420 left to play Jackson State on top of Alabama A&M, 45 to 30. Game just getting underway down on the bluff. Florida A&M and Southern. Southern up 6-0 with 325 in the first quarter. Alabama State, this is a final over Bethune-Cookman, 19-14. to And a final, keep an eye on this one. Alcorn, 25. Gramlin, 24 from Spinks Castle Stadium. The Braves get a huge win. Yeah, the they get yeah they get a big one, and we we get a little help, a little breathing room. There you now. go. We there gotta, you go. Now, the only other good thing would be, if, well, I don't know. What time does FAMU and Southern get underway? Six o'clock? Uh, they're underway now. They're oh, underway now. Southern, man. Southern's are up early, six nothing. Oh man. It's hard to win on the bluff. I'm sorry. Southern, Jackson, whoever it is, it is hard to win in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, folks. Yes, it is. Uh you talk about Baton Rouge, Louisiana on a Saturday night. That is a tough venue, A.W. Mumford. Uh, looking forward to going down there on November 11th, I believe, is when the Panthers. We go down there and let's see what's at what's at stake. With the Panthers and the Jaguars, November 11th. Man, I'm thinking about Tony Seafood. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing. That's the first thing. My wife, my, my son Lorenzo wants to go to this game. He says, Daddy, can I go to the game? Which I'm like, well, yeah, you can go to the game. He said, because I want to go to Tony's. I said, what about the game? He said, oh, I want to go to the game too, but I want to go to Tony's Seafood. So we might we might pack up the whole crew, ride through rain, Louisiana, my hometown, see some of my friends and family and just make a day of it. There you go. That sounds like a, a great swag day. Man, I'm going to wear purple all the way down there. How about that? There you go. You Just until I get across the, the bridge and into the stadium, and then I'll, I'll take it off. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jenkins on the jet sweep. Comes around the right side. Great block in there. One man to beat. Oh, man, good penetration over there by the defense, man. Christian Fagan, the junior from Cedar Hills. Getting in there and uh, making the stop for the Panthers. Yeah, Fagan did a uh, for the good Delta. job of defeating the block, and that could have been a bigger play, but he just made a great individual play in terms of defeating the block and making the tackle. Down to nine seconds, eight seconds, and that's going to wrap up the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen, of play, the Panthers. And the Delta Devils of Mississippi Valley State, ladies and gentlemen, are tied at three. Three to nothing here in the Panther Stadium. Stick around. We'll take a quick break and come back with more exciting Panther football. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word. It's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and changemakers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Welcome back to Panther Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers of Prairie View A&M University. Checking out the Delta Devils of Mississippi Valley State. Tied at three here at the beginning of the second quarter. Pretty good game. Pretty good defensive game for both teams. Both had two goal line stops. Those were those were some high points. Uh, but neither one has been able to get in the end zone. Yeah, and, and like you said, you let me into ch the chances there for the Panthers as they have been able to move the ball, but they have not been able to get in the end zone. Conley with an open backfield, double slot. 
And Conley drops back, throws it quickly across the middle. Oh, and it's bobbled. And that time, the Panthers didn't come down with it. On the reception is Chris Simmons, the wide receiver from Zachary, Louisiana. The sure-handed one, but uh, not that time. Yeah, that time Aaron Webb uh, did a great job of breaking up that pass as he came up with a hard hit, brings up fourth and punting here for the Panthers. Coming out to kick it away for the Panthers. All the way out uh, to Kobe Bates, who is going to call for a fair catch. That one's going to go in the end zone, and they'll get it at the 20. Alexander Davis, the kicker for the Well, I, I tell you what, Delta Charles. Devils. Wait a minute, I'm looking at the wrong side. Coming off, <laughs> that was uh, our punter kicking it away. That was uh, Efren Jasso running off the field. But uh, the Panthers now will defend 80 yards for Coach Bubba McDowell. Well, you, you just hope the Panthers' offense gets in the gear. They've been able to hit some big plays down the field with Jaquan Bloomfield, but they haven't able to push it into the, the end zone. But at some point, you, you, the, the bow has to break, if you will. <laughs> 14.50 here to play in the second. In motion. Williams goes around the left side to jet sweep over to Chambers, and Chambers picks up a few yards for the Devils. Yeah, Chambers was able to find a little room over the left end that time. He had some blockers out front, but Prairie View did a good job of really pursuing that from the backside and was able to stop that from uh, from being a huge game. 14-28. Left to play second and called it four. Bunch formation up top. Here come the Devils in motion. Hand off to Wilson right up the middle. Wilson breaks a tackle and dives for the first down. Yeah, like you said, Wilson did a good job that time breaking the tackle right there at the point of attack and was able to fight forward for the first down for the Delta Devils. Spot the ball on the 31 of Mississippi Valley State University. Williams and Wilson in the backfield. Twins up top in here in the near side. Williams drops back. A lot of time. Nowhere to go. And coming up with it for the Panthers. Good defense. Good job of standing home and fighting off is Davier Farrow. Farrow is the uh, hero of the Texas Southern game. I think he caught that interception, Davier Farrow. Yeah, that uh, changed the whole face of the game as, uh, Miss, as uh, Texas Southern was driving. Farrow's the hero. A great coverage on that play by the Panthers secondary as Farrell was able to spin off the left tackle over there, make the sack, brings up second and 13 here for the Delta Devil. Trips near side. Wilson and Williams in the backfield. Williams drops back, has a man one-on-one, -on -one, turns around, and it's caught for the first down. Eads. With a big catch and a huge celebration for Mississippi Valley State. They think they have the Panthers' number. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, the Panther defender, he never got his head turned around, so Eads was able to make that catch. Nice catch. Big first down for the Delta Devils as, as they move into Prairie View territory. Well, the Panthers have got to get keep their heads straight. A win from Gramlin does us no good if we, leave, if we lose here. That's a great point. <laughs> Quick pass right side and uh, – Man, did uh, were there footsteps? Were the Isley brothers there uh, for Malik Myers, the junior from Macon, Jersey? He missed an easy one. There. Yeah, he missed the easy one. He's hurt as he heard Malachi Harrison coming from behind him. There, was able to, uh, I guess, uh, give him the, uh, the the toe steps, if you will, <laughs> to kind of scare well, him was, from that I, catch. I, that was making a Isley brothers reference. Footsteps and I keep hearing footsteps, baby. <laughs> <laughs> in the dark. Now it's wide open and bright. And here we go back. Oh, Wilson Great with job. nowhere to go. Man, huge penetration by Derek Gray Jr., Derek Ray. the senior from Richmond, Texas. Man, he comes in there, man, like there's 
like there is a free buffet. There. I mean, he absolutely split the A-gap that time, did a great job getting through there, making the tackle, brings up third and 13 here for the Delta Devils. Tremendous play. Wilson and Williams in the backfield with a double slot. The Panthers are allowing a drive. Third and uh, call it 13. Williams drops back, throws a single coverage, and it's dropped, and that would have been a sure first down and a miscue there by the Delta Devils. The Panthers get a break here as uh, the intended receiver, Kobe Bates, couldn't hold on to it. Yeah, Kobe Bates could not hold on to that one. Like you said, it would have been an easy first down, but – Panthers get a break on that, brings up fourth and punting here for the Delta Devils. Davis comes out to kick it away. Jenkins will stay standing at about the 10-yard line. Williams calls the fair catch. Pardon me, Jenkins calls the fair catch. Oh, man. And uh, <laughs> sometimes uh, it's not uh, – you better watch it. You, got, you just can't <laughs> – can't turn your back here on these Panthers. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, uh, special teams, you got to keep your head on a swivel on at a all times. On a swivel time. at all times. That's Greg Montgomery, a.k.a. Blue, on the kickoff team when we played uh, Texas Lutheran. I'll never forget that one. Just easily walking off the field like nothing was going, and Capayo broke shoulder. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a cheap shot. Never forget it. They kicked me out of the game. Uh, 1148 left to play. Here we go with the quick one. Wilson being patient and picking up uh, something out of nothing, four yards on the carry. Yeah, Wilson with a little uh, snake hips there at the line of scrimmage was able to scamper around the left end, pick up about four yards. He's a quick one. Yes, he is. Johnson or Antoine. Antoine in now for the Panthers. Slot up top on the far side. And right up the middle, Wilson, man, that's that stutter step. Pardon me, uh, Antoine, with that stutter step, gets close to the first down. Yeah, he got close to the first time. The first down, that was a nice job that time. Knifing in, was looked like that was Jamison Lindsay there on the tackle. Third and two for the Panthers. Third and short here for the Panthers, being very deliberate getting this play in. Right up the middle. Oh, man, goes the Panthers, and uh, I think we'll get that one now. <laughs> man, what a what a run right up the middle. Yeah, he exploded into the tackler for the first down. But like you said, that's what you want. You want him to put that put foot down, hit the hole, and get the first down. First and 10, uh, calling on the 26-yard line uh, of the Panthers. Yes, indeed. Ahmad Antoine checking into the game now. Here we go. Dropping back to pass the Panthers. Oh, what a one-handed catch, yeah. and it's a catch, and we're going to the end zone. The Panthers with Shamar Savage and the juggle will get the touchdown after the pass interference play. What a what a catch. What a catch. Shamar Savage with the concentration to pull it down. And like Coach McDowell said, you got to win these one-on-one -on -one battles. Touchdown, Panthers. Somebody make a play, and that time it was Shamar Savage. Shamar Savage, that was tremendous. Kept his concentration, juggled a little bit, was able to bring it down. Big touchdown. Hopefully you get the momentum going a little bit now. Get the juices flowing. And pass interference call by the officials. No can do. We'll take it. Yes, indeed. 74 yards to Shamar Savage. And coming out for the uh, point after, the snap is back. The kick is up, and it's good. And the Panthers draw first blood in the end zone as uh, Ephraim Jasso comes out and 
Kicks the point after the Panthers are fired up now. 10-3 the score with 9.47 left to play here in the first period, ladies and gentlemen. want to just remind you folks of uh, our corporate sponsor, Sodexo, Adidas, Houston Methodist Hospital, Willowbrook, and uh, Sodexo, all proud sponsors of Prairie View and M University Sports. Four plays, 86 yards, two minutes off the clock. Shamar Savage, 74-yard touchdown, tremendous catch. Tell you what, that was a huge one for the Panthers. Like you said, you want to get that momentum up and going now, Charles. 9.47 left to play, and uh, back deep are going to be the Kobe's for Mississippi Valley, Kobe Chambers and Kobe Bates. Well, did what was the final score of the A and M game? I'm still trying to, to catch that. Man, what a great game, Alabama and uh, Texas A and M down the street there. Not that we really are concerned, but it was a really good football game. Oh yeah, that was a good one earlier. Have to get that one pulled up here in a little while. Jasso gets it deep to Bates. Bates now to the t 25 yard line. Flags all over the place, and look there on the end. Some people are having some issues, and another flag. Another flag. Well, that's laundry all over the place on this one. Wow. It's going to be offsetting personal files. Watch. You had two guys involved with some uh, something other than football. It looked like wrestling. <laughs> <clears throat> now, referee Tony Ross, he's going to sort this out. Referee Tony Ross, umpire Jason Parker, headlinesman Darren Crawford. Line judge Jamie McMiller. Field judges Lawrence Goss the third. Side judges David Boone. And the back judges Thaddeus Azor. Let's see what the call is. So we have two holding penalties on Valley? Yeah, it looks like two holding penalties. Well, the guys were kind of like involved in some wrestling. <laughs> I was just looking for mud. I mean, they were really going at it. And, uh, wow, that's a 10-yarder from the spot of the foul. Yeah, they'll move it inside the 25-yard uh, line here. Well, now the Panthers just need to hold here. As here come the Delta Devils. First and ten for the Delta Devils. In motion. And uh, coming around the right oh. side in the jet sweep is Chambers. And uh, first down for the Panthers. They sent Jacoby Thomas, the tight end, in motion. Far side and just a little quick jet sweep there for Kobe Chambers, the speedster from right there in Greenwood, Mississippi. I'll tell you what, Dewan Lewis did a great job of getting him on the ground because he could have gone for some yards. He had yeah. greenery in front of him. But, you know, you got to make those tackles in open field, and that's one of the things that the coaching staff has really harped on this week with regards to the Panthers, making those tackles when you got to make them. First and ten on the Valley 38, Wilson – in the middle of traffic, nowhere to go. All of the uh, defensive linemen are there. All yes, of them. <laughs> indeed. Led by Jamal Marshall. He was right in the middle of everything there. The big man. Six feet, 315 pounds from Fort Worth, Texas. 8.32 left to play here in the second quarter. Sparse crowd here. Everybody spent all their money going to Dallas last week, huh? <laughs> Uh, but a nice crowd, nice crowd here in the uh, Panther Stadium. Tight end right across the middle. No Woo. body there. First down and coming across, making a huge catch is tight end Jason Davis. Or, pardon me, Jackson Davis. He's a freshman from right down the street in Glen Heights, Texas. Yeah, Davis did a great job coming off the line. He was open immediately. 
and was able to make the catch and first down for the Delta Devils. Moves it across the 39-yard line of Prairie View. 6'5", 250. That's uh, something to bring down there. That's not, yeah, that's not, not an easy load. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Trips left now, far side. Here we go with the Panthers. Uh, the Delta Devils on the drive, a first and 10 on the 39. Single Panthers showing safety. mo. Yes, they're showing man. Here we go, back right side, Jackson. Scrambling, in trouble, steps a guy and uh, dives to the 35-yard line, uh, bringing up a second and call it seven, maybe eight for, for the Panthers. Yeah, at that time, Travion Green, he had an opportunity to come up and make the stick right at the line of scrimmage. And like I said, that's a big kid, 240 pounds, wasn't able to bring him down. He was able to get three on the pickup there for the Delta, second and seven. Wilson, ah. oh, with a quick ball, man. Good play, man. Every look, the Panthers didn't know what to do. Yeah. Nobody's out there. That's a great play call. Wide open there was Chambers. Just a poor pass from Williams. Yeah, they caught a break on that one. And yeah, man, because there was nothing but real estate there on that side, man. Blown coverage by the Panthers. Yeah, yeah blown coverage by the Panthers. A little wide receiver screen that uh, they were not able to complete, and it would have gone for big yardage. Oh yeah, there was no one over there. They're going to bring up a third down and seven, and they're going to do it all over again. Trips up top. Yeah, Coach Wade didn't like what was going on. Yeah, on the Panthers uh, have gotten their number, I think. Uh, they were really dialing up some, some, uh, some defensive plays there as the Panthers – Get ready to uh, take a take a quick break here. We'll take this break with them, ladies and gentlemen. The second half, is, second quarter is underway. The Panthers are on top of the Delta Devils by a score of ten to three here in Panther Stadium. Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther football. At Prairie View A and M University, excellence isn't just a word. It's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Uh, have gotten back underway, and their flags on the play. The uh, Devils had the ball after the timeout, and came in and let's see what the what the call is. It's going to be marked off against the Devils. False start, maybe. Let's see if it's a ten yarder. Might have been a false start on that one. Too many men on the field. What else could it could it have been? Personal foul. Chop block. Chop block. It could have been unnecessary roughness. Roughing the sports announcer. <laughs> Here comes the marching storm. Getting ready to perform at halftime. Breast cancer awareness and tribute to uh, military members today here in Panther Stadium. What I expect to see more guys dressed in their green camos. But... Uh, like I said, sparks crowd. I think uh, we might we might have five thousand here. Yeah, yeah, probably about five and some change or something to that effect. But That's still a good crowd. Yeah. Okay, and now here we go. The pan, the uh, Delta Devils now with a third and a whole bunch. <laughs> third and twenty. Williams drops back. Here comes the defense. Good pressure. Uh, great pressure. The Panthers, man. There's nothing to do. Uh, first to the ball is at 89. It's 99. First to the ball for the Panthers was a uh, big 99 Calvin Presley Jr. 
from Philadelphia, PA. That's a little cameo I had to throw in there. Yeah. And then uh, cleaning it up there was Jamal Marshall. Yeah, great job that time by the defensive lineman as Presley. He was fighting two and three guys down there. Was still able to fight them off and get through to get some pressure down on the Valley quarterback. Fourth and punting for the Delta Devil. Jenkins at the 25. Waiting to punt. Good push. And, uh, oh, man, a short, high punt. Hard. Oh, but it takes a Valley bounce out of the bounds. And uh, right at the 23-yard line. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be a shanky very much, but he got yeah. a friend, got yeah. a friend, got a Charles Bishop bounce on the golf course. You, I'm, oh, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> 6.04 left to play here in the second quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up at halftime, Caleb Carter and uh, Alasia Davis. CC and AD with the halftime show. How about that? Yes, indeed. I was trying to find something else to rhyme with A.D. <laughs> and uh, Caleb Carter, some of our shining students. Many do a great job as we got a television timeout here in the uh, Panther Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around. We're going to take a break here and come back with uh, the completion of the second quarter. This is Exciting Panther Football on the Prairie View and University Panther Sports Network. At Prairie View a and University, Excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs Gentlemen, first and ten, the Panthers with a a big run. Caleb Johnson on his old team gets to the 15 and pushed out at the 20. Caleb Johnson, man, with a quick hitter. That's got to be a 70-yarder. Yeah, a tremendous run that time as – I tell you what, Caleb Johnson was able to get around. I did around say Johnson, didn't I? I didn't yeah. say Carter, did Okay, just check it. <laughs> I'm second-guessing myself. Did I say Carter? Man, huge run for the Panthers. I'm huge, sorry. Huge, huge run. Gets them immediately into the red zone. Worsham now coming out. Now, this is the team that we expected to see here. Worsham in the backfield. Uh, is that a Mont Antoine? Picks up three for the Panthers. Yeah, going back to that earlier play, he turned the Jets on. Once he found the once he found the seam, he was often to the races. So let's see, can the Panthers get a touchdown here as we are right at about the 520 mark here in the second quarter play? Spot the ball on the 17-yard line. Five thirteen left to play here in the second quarter. Second and nine. And flags on the play. False start. Mm. Wow. Yeah. We've got to stop shooting ourselves in the foot. We've got to. And it's it's these mental errors. It's the mental errors that is really just driving the coaching staff crazy because, like I said, you get a big play and then, you know, two steps forward, one step back. Can't beat yourself. Spot the ball back on the 22-yard line. Brings up second and 14 here for the Panthers. Connor Wisham in the backfield back there with Conlon. Yeah, he's the fast one. Had a big one against uh, Grambling State last week. Conley. A lot of running room. He's just going to throw it. That's wide open. Brian Jenkins right there on the five-yard line for the first down. Conley had a lot of room to run it, but uh, elected to let it go. Yeah, he let it go, and that was a fine dime that time by Trezon Conley. On the move, finding Conley inside the 10-yard line. Spot the ball on about the seven-yard line first down and go here for the Panthers. Panthers threatening the score here, closing out the second quarter. Four minutes and 20 seconds left 
Conley getting the play from the sideline. So I want to go back to that 64-yard 64, 64 run. That was actually Connor Wisham on 64. The run. It was Wisham. Okay, we thought it was Johnson. Okay, Wisham on another big one. That one's Johnson, though, and he gets down to the one-yard line. Nice jump cut there in the hole that time uh, for the running back. Looks like that maybe. That might be Wisham yeah, again. Is, yeah, is, is it three? Wisham. Okay, yeah. that is Connor Wisham. When, with the with his back pad there, <laughs> it pushes his jersey up. It makes it look like a three. Yeah. He gets it again, and he gets in the end zone this time. Yeah. Touchdown, Prairie View. Got flags there on the play. Let's oh, see what it is. man. Here we go. 345 left to play. Looks like it's going to be an offsides. Too many men, Too many on, men field. on field on the Mississippi Valley. And the Panthers will uh, decline that one and will bring out, is that going to be Jasso or Villa? Is it 48? Who's that? I can't see it from here. I think that's going to be Rodriguez. Guillermo and 48, Rodriguez. Effort, okay, Rodriguez, that's, he would be 48 and 47. That's 48. Here we go. Oh, that's Jasso. That's Jasso. The back mm -hmm. snap is back. The kick is up. And it's good, ladies and gentlemen. Well, 345 left to play here in the first half, folks. The Panthers starting to get a little ahead of steam here. 17 to 3 is the score. Stick around. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Go up 17-3, to three. that drive, four plays, 77 yards, two minutes and 20 seconds off the clock as it's 345 left here before halftime. Panthers up 17-3. to three. Jesso, short kick, Bates, 25, gets to the 30, finds a lane, has a man to beat, and there's going to be holding. Yeah. We'll bring it back. Number two, is that two or five? Yeah, that looks like that was uh, number two that time with the hole. Yeah, that's going to be uh, – number two is going to be Jared Wilson, the running back. He's playing on the kickoff team. He's a grad student, and uh, he's going to be uh, holding. That was we'll a, be going back the other way. Easy call on that e one. Yeah, easy. easy. Mm -hmm. Had two hands full of jersey. I'll tell you what, the Panthers, a little bit of momentum here before half. That was a big drive that time uh, for Connor Wisham, especially 64-yard gain. Got him into scoring position. Panthers able to push it in for the touchdown. 338 left to play here in the first, folks. The Panthers with a decent uh, – I'm, I'm interested to see the the stats here. Well, already close to 100 yards uh, on the ground, 97 thus far. Connor Wisham, five carries, 79 yards. Amada Antoine, three carries, 10 yards. Jenkins with a five-yard carry. And then Trazon Conley, 6 of 11, 192 yards and a touchdown thus far on the night. Oh, great job. Man, what a tackle. Oh, The Panthers just right there, man. Just good defense now. And everybody's starting to celebrate. Yeah. Travian Green with the hit that time. Tell you, that is what you want to see. You want to see Panthers flying around. That will bring a smile to the face of Coach Alvin Fossum, the defense coordinator. 310 left to play. Second and 10, Williams drops back, throws right. There's a man, and, yeah, great catch, good defense there. I mean, pardon me, uh, good uh, route there run by the Delta Devils. That time, number 84, J the Jackson, uh, Jackson Davis, Davis, the uh, tight end, doing a good job there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, for a freshman, man, he looks really good. Uh, nice job that time stretching out for the first down for the Delta Devils. Nice catch. 
Conley, 6 of 11. Williams, 7 of 11 in passing. Williams drops mm. back. Oh, man, right there, man. Great job by the – Sean Johnson. He's right there, man. He's like a hungry bear. Yeah, great You ever seen job. Cocaine Bear? You ever seen that movie? <laughs> Can we call him Cocaine Bear without getting in trouble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, Cocaine yeah. Bear wasn't any, was not a joke on that movie, I tell you. Well, we're going to call uh, Keyshawn Johnson Cocaine Bear. Almost like the uh, Kalachi slide. Did you see uh, – <laughs> you didn't see uh, uh, AD and I on the, on the mic, did you? As a quick pass goes right side, that's going to be enough for the first down, left side rather. On the far side, is that enough for the first? Yeah, it looks like they'll move the chains. Great oh, pass wow. that time. A nice little out pattern. Valley able to catch it right at the chains for the first down. Panthers here with a wholesale uh, substitution along the defensive line. Yeah, now 9 of 13 with 117 yards is is Williams for the Devils. Williams drops back again. He's going to run this one, keeps it. Oh, good man, job. great defense. Good, good trip and tackle. Is that 91? Derrick Ray? Yes, 91, Derrick Ray, the junior, senior from Richmond, Texas. Yeah, he did a great job. Got penetration upfield and was able to chase it down from the backside. Nice sack. Second and 13 here for the Delta Devils. Looks like we'll have a timeout on the field. Yeah, a timeout. Uh, the Delta Devils are saying, hey, we got to try to get a play in here. They want to try to get a score before halftime with a minute 27. The Panthers are doing a real fine job now. Seems like they're starting to be the Panthers of old as they get ready to go down and uh, take a break here and talk about it. Peruvian University's admissions office has announced the 2024 admissions applications are now open for the spring. Summer and fall 2024 semesters. Priority deadline for the fall 2024 semester is December 1st. We're going to really hammer that to you. December 1st, 2023. Be sure to apply now at Go Apply. Texas.org. That's go apply, G O apply, A P P L Y, Texas.org, and become a Panther today. Follow the admissions department at P V A M U admissions for more updates. Well, Charles, we go to Houston next week to take on uh, the Huskies. Yes. Is it the Huskies of uh, Houston Christian? Yes, Huskies of Houston Christian. Man, I'm right going to go there on the southwest side of Houston. I'm going to run right in there in that rotunda and show you guys what we're made of. My grandmother was the first African American woman to graduate with a degree in uh, theological studies. Oh, wow. From HBU. A back bit of in history the day. there. I like that. Uh, we, we, we come from a history making family, That's I guess. Big. I guess you could say. Here we go. Williams dropping back to pass, looking right, throwing right. Here's a man wide open. Great catch. Misses a tackler. And man, what an effort there by the Delta Devils. Kobe Bates, the wide receiver from Jacksonville, Florida. You know, those Floridians can fly. And, man, he got really, really, really good separation uh, that time. Great separation. Great throw that time by Tajerian Williams from one hash all the way across to the opposite hash. Nice catch and run that time by Kobe Bates. First down, Delta Devils spot the ball on the 38-yard line. First and 10 for the Devils. Oh, false start. Didn't get to that one. And Williams gets around the right side and tripped up by the Panthers. Uh, putting the big paws out is Carlos Villagomez. Was that 97? 93. John 93. Marshall. Marshall, I'm sorry. Yes, indeed. With the tackle for the Panthers. And uh, that's going to get us down under a minute. And it looks like the Panthers will go in, barring uh, something crazy here. Williams dropping back to pass. Good Not pressure. something Good crazy. Pressure. And they're all over him. Nowhere to go. I think the Panthers' defense is starting to wear down that offensive line of the Delta Devils. Yeah, two pars that time. Great pressure by the front guys, uh, by the front four that time. But even better coverage in the secondary. There was nobody open downfield. And I tell you what, that front four was able to close in on Tigerian Williams and get the sack. Timeout on the field, looks like here, for the Delta Devils. Yeah, 17 seconds left to play. And... Uh, if they have any, well, no, they're not going to no, call the timeout. They're, they're going to ready to go. Get off field. Get off get field. Out, oh, here we go. Wait, timeout. We're going to have to call timeout because they called. We well, I thought they called timeout. Well, I, I think yeah, there was confusion on the field. I saw <laughs> one of the per view coaches you walk out on the hash. Yeah, that's what. I, okay, I'm thinking that someone has called a timeout or something going on here. And the referees were shooing them back as the clock keeps running. Seven seconds left here before halftime. Folks, coming up at halftime, we'll take a quick, quick break, and then Caleb Carter and uh, A.D. Elijah Davis will bring you our halftime report. So excited for them. Seven seconds left to play 
Uh, not a lot to talk about in seven seconds. What can, what, what can you talk about in seven seconds? Okay, run straight to the locker room. <laughs> don't 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 start. For, <laughs> what else can you say? I mean, golly gee. Yeah, you want to make sure you get some guys back. You don't want anything, you know, funny to happen here right before halftime. Make sure you get those uh, DBs and those safeties back around the five-yard line and make sure they don't get uh, something in the end zone here. Third down and a whole bunch for the Delta Devil 17. And the Panthers are uh, really playing. You think they're in cover two zone now? You think, yeah. did you, think, <laughs> did you, you almost said H-E double hockey sticks. Yeah, did you? I, just, I was just wondering. I, I want them to drop back a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, man. That, man, that's an ugly cover two. Okay, there they go. Drop it back. They're the head, safeties on the four. edge. There you go. Yeah, they're a couple job. four there. There we go. All right, and the Panthers with uh, nowhere to go now. They're celebrating. But, hey, man, don't, don't celebrate like that. Let's get the win. We'll celebrate. Don't Let's celebrate like we're going to play Southern like that. How about that, huh? There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for the first half. It's in the books. The Panthers are on top of the Delta Devils by score of 17-3. Stick around. Alasia Davis and Caleb Carter are up next. This is Exciting Panther Football on the Prairie View and University. Panther Sports Network. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word. It's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Push it. Push it 
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Panther Vision Halftime Show. I am Caleb Carter, alongside my co-host, Alasia Davis. We'd like to thank you for joining us. Prairie View currently up against Mississippi Valley State, 17-3. to And, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to give a special shout-out to all of the survivors and people who are currently suffering from breast cancer. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we also would like to give a special salute to the men and women who have dedicated their lives to our military. Thank you so much for your service. Now, Alasia, this has been an entertaining half for uh, yes, Prairie View. So what have you seen out there on the field? Yeah, so coming off in the first quarter um, at 11-18, we had a 44-yard field goal to start us off getting a 3-0. And then uh, five minutes later, we had a 4-1 offside penalty for MBSU. Ryan Burton, um, which is the coordinator coach, he's formation stopped that drive, which they were trying to get into the end zone. Uh, second quarter, 76-yard touchdown for Savage, and we were 10-3. and three. And our defense just have been playing a very good game. You know, they've been exploiting the pockets. They've been finding the holes in the defense. And they've been really using Connor Wisham on the offensive side to get us to make those big plays. You know, you're absolutely right, Elijah. When, you know, you speak about that 76-yard uh, touchdown to Savage. You know, we were both on the field during that play, and that play happened right in front of me. And I got to tell you, they, they say fan is short for fanatic. I became a fanatic <laughs> seeing that one-handed grab uh, from Savage. And then you talk about the defense. I talked to uh, Coach Alvin Fossilman, the defensive coordinator for Prairie View, and one thing that he said to me was that, hey, Valley cannot handle our pressure. You see a lot of blitzes coming from um, Coach Fossilman and PV. The D-line is really holding up, getting a lot of pressures on the quarterback, getting a lot of sacks, especially in that late second half. So the defense is definitely showing showing their self in this in this half. Now, Alicia, let's go to some more SWAC scores mm -hmm. around the SWAC. Yes. Okay. So we are in the uh, second second quarter. We are up 17 to three. Um, final score for JSU, they went over Alabama a and University. Their score, 45-30. Second quarter for FAMU, uh, they are trailing behind Southern University. Southern University has a lead of six. The final score for Alcorn, they won over Gremlin State, 25-24, to a close game. And the final score for Bethune Cookman University, they lost to Alabama State, 14-19. So the SWAC has actually, the brackets, the conference, it has been uh, flipped upside down, kind of. You know, you're seeing some teams move up, some teams move down. It's kind of leveling out. So I'm excited to see how the SWAC uh, championship will turn out. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, the, the, the early predictions for the SWAC, 
I'm pretty sure they didn't see they didn't have this season in mind because things have been all over the place. I mean, we were watching the Grambling Alcorn State game here in our in our box, and we thought that Grambling had it all sewn up. Mm-hmm. But then Alcorn State pulls it off and comes away with the win, 25 to 24. But Alicia, I do want to swing things over to Prairie View and what we have been doing over here in the in some of our other sports. Mm-hmm. So basketball is just now getting their season started. They just wrapped up the SWAC Media Day for basketball. The men and women have both been picked to be sixth in the SWAC. Mm-hmm. So we'll see what uh, Coach Byron Smith has to say about that for the basketball team. The soccer team is coming off a win against Alcorn State and has their next game against Jackson State. The volleyball team has been looking pretty well. They just came off their win against Southern. They had their next game against Bethune-Cookman, and they are undefeated in the SWAC. Alasia, we were at the last volleyball game, and it was an amazing atmosphere, amazing game yes. for the winner, yes. for the Lady Panthers. Yes. I'm actually very excited to see what um, basketball will pan out like. You know, with us being pick six, that's not necessarily a top rank. So I'm hoping that it's kind of like uh, how we are seeing in swag football with the brackets kind of being flipped upside down. And maybe we'll pull out that number one spot, you know, take it all the way this time. Absolutely. We, we definitely hope that the volleyball team takes it all the way. But even more so than that, more immediately than that, I should say, we hope that Prairie View and them, the football team can take it all the way, closing this one out. Once again, your score for the Panthers is 17, and Mississippi State Valley is having three. Now, Alicia, I do want to mention this. When I talked to Coach Bubba McDowell right before halftime, one thing that he said to me was, hey, we have to stop shooting ourselves in the foot. We're playing pretty well, but every time we get something going on offense, there's a false start. And when we get something going on defense, there's a personal foul. So they have to clean things up a bit because they could really open this game up. Yep. I actually uh, like the calls that the refs have been making, which is crazy, but they've actually been overturning a lot of penalties in our favor. Um, and it's crazy that Bubba McDowell would say that because this game I feel like we've actually been doing better. As we know, there have been um, 88, I believe, a total of 88-yard penalties in the past couple games, resulting in 11 uh, flags. Uh, resulting in 11 flags um, that they called on us. So I feel like we're doing pretty good, but Coach Bob McDowell, you know, obviously he's, as they said on the field, putting his foot on their necks, you know, and getting them to bring up their game. So excited to see how this game will end out. Hopefully we make it out to this on top. Putting their foot on their necks, absolutely. And speaking of putting their foot on their necks, the marching storm is currently on the field, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to toss it to the storm who is putting their foot <laughs> on the necks of the crowd. Excuse me. I was just I was just waved off by our producers, Alasia. We're not gonna actually toss it to the storm. We'll stay right here. But we'll be back right here on Panther Vision. Sounds good. Working all around the clock, everybody just rocking, don't stop it. You gotta rock it. 
Welcome back to Panther Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. Charles Porter and the Panther Sports Broadcast Team. And congratulations to Elijah Davis and Caleb Carter, some of our bright and shining stars. Man, they did a great job, Charles. Yeah, they did. They did a tremendous job. Uh, it's great that uh, you are in a position uh, to tutor them and to Well, you tutor them. Come on, you uh, instructor. Uh, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? And uh, also my grandson, uh, Cameron Hayes, finally finally came back to work. He's, next time he's fired, I'm serious. Y'all won't be hearing his name anymore. I'm just letting everybody. I'm letting America know. Miss, miss again. Oh, man. Miss always again, always done. pledging the family, man. You, that's my dad pledged me. We're back to live action here. Uh, quickly, let's get with some scoring recapping as Jasso gets ready to kick it off to the two Kobe's. Yeah, Guillermo Rodriguez got all things off to a rousing start for the Panthers with a 3 uh, 50 yard field goal. Then, Uh-oh. Bates on the 20 get, catches oh to boy. the 30. Oh, man. To the 50. Bates, man, putting on the Jets. They're going to catch him. But wow, man, golly gee, Willikers, what a way to start off the uh, the first half. If that doesn't give you any momentum, I don't know what to do. And gosh, man, who blew that coverage? Yeah, blown, blown assignment that time. Somebody missed got tackle. running their lane, a missed tackle. And like you said, you don't want to come out into the second half with uh, something like that happening and let Valley get a little momentum uh, in their favor there. Yeah, defense came out with uh, left with some great momentum. And man, gee whiz. But back to the scoring quickly. The Panthers uh, on top of the 
Delta Devil Devils 17 to 3. Yeah, 17 to 3 is your score. Valley uh, came back with a field goal, 3 3. Nice defensive uh, fights there for both Valley and Prairie View there in the first quarter. Jamar Savage, big 74 yard touchdown for the Panthers, made it 10 to 3. And then the Panthers closed out the scoring in the first half with the Connor Risham two yard run. And that's your score here, 17 to 3, coming out of halftime. The Devils uh, lining up with an open backfield. Up, oh, check that out. Single set uh, with uh, Williams under center. Going with a little different look. Here comes the motion. They give it right side on the pass. Wide open on that wheel route. The same play and juggled it. Incomplete, but good defense that time. But that's that same wheel route that uh, saw Valley get down to our two-yard line for that big goal line stance from the Panthers. Yeah, Valley a little motion on that that time, and they were able to uh, see if they could get something <laughs> Like a little ghost to the post action, if you will. <laughs> Great job that time by the Prairie View defense to snuff that one out. Second and ten for the Delta Devils. Here we go. Williams in the shotgun. Drops back. Looks left. He's going to throw left. Uh, if he has some time, man, he's in trouble. And the Panthers oh, trying wow. to get him. Oh, man, and just a little shovel pass. But he dropped it. Goodness. <laughs> Hit him in the chest, bounced off the, the turf and right back into his hands. I thought he'd caught it at first. I'll tell you what, the Panthers have been doing a great job getting the Tigerian Williams. Five sacks in the first half of play. 14-34 left to play. We're early in the second half, ladies and gentlemen. Third and ten for the Delta Devils. Starting to get a little cool outside. Man, just great oh. fall weather. Where oh, was this last weekend? Where was this last weekend in exactly. Dallas? Exactly. <laughs> Williams drops back, looks right, looks left, now throws left. It's caught. Man, that one was way up top. Now they're going to say incomplete. And uh, Jared Wilson, the uh, graduate assistant running back, coming out of the backfield, caught that one. He dropped it, fell down. It's going to bring up a fourth down. They're going to try to kick it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the Panthers did a great job. Uh, i tell you what, stopping that Valley Drive. They had some momentum coming with that kickoff, but great job by the Panthers to snuff things out. Alexander Davis, let's see. Let's count that one up. 10, 20, 35, 40-yard field goal? Yes, indeed. Here we go. And the snap is back. The kick is up. Oh! It's uh, long enough. And it's good. Wow. Wow. Well, 17 to 6 here in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. The Delta Devils get on the board first, 17 to 3. We'll be right back. At Prairie View AM University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change makers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Call it the 11-yard line and uh, just nowhere to go. Good coverage by the Delta Devils. Uh, good making the uh, uh, extra effort out of it. You know, Charles, I think we were talking in break. You want the Panthers to come out of halftime with that same momentum that they had that they took into halftime. You want that offense to come out humming here. 
I tell you what, they almost uh, had uh, 300 yards of total offense there in the first half. Okay? That's what we were talking about during the break. No, I'm, just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. My, no, you're right. Marquise Doucette, though, the, <laughs> the, the returner. I'm sorry. We've got to kind of make it fun, man. Just a little bit here. Here we go. The Panthers uh, run back. And, uh, man, wide open there. Here comes Brian. Jenkins on the jet sweep, and, man, that's a big first down for the Panthers. Yeah, Jenkins with a little mesh route that time, a little play action, and they had the linebackers lost on that big game by Brian Jenkins as he takes it out all the way to the 45-yard line, first and 10 Panthers. 13.55 left to play in the third quarter, folks. Panthers uh, with a slow game here in the second half. The first half flew by. Now the second half just kind of putting along here. Slot. Left, a handoff right up the middle. Is that Johnson? Is that three? No, is that That's two? Caleb Johnson. That's three. Okay. Yeah. Now, did it look like a two to you? I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, folks. You can, if you can see from up here, you, you'd see a different vantage point. Well, you know, so, I'm, I'm starting to look at Caleb Johnson's arms. He has the big arms. Well, there you go. Okay. <laughs> there, there you go. He's the big one. He's been doing push ups for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't really see any action the first half. Right. So, uh, fresh legs here. For Prairie View with Caleb Johnson. Well, I think that's what you uh, you allude to, fresh legs with Caleb Johnson mm -hmm. coming in. Mm -hmm. He's a tough one to bring down. Trips left. Now he can get back uh, at the uh, Delta Devils. Or were they saving him so that the Devils wouldn't try to put him out for the rest of the season? Huh? He'll get it this time. Breaks a tackle. Bounces out to the right side. Stays on his feet. And the Devils are still going at it. And, man, the Panthers and the Delta Devils are really, really having some kerfuffles. Yeah, it's getting a little chippy out there. A little, little jawing back and forth. A little extracurricular after the play. But cooler heads prevail here as we move to third and one here. Spot the ball on the 48-yard line. I know a lot of vocabulary words. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> they're, they're getting into it down there. Trips left up top, far side. Here comes Johnson again with a call. Right up around the middle, and he's going to uh, oh. just take everybody with him for the first down. Yes, indeed. Caleb Johnson with a hard run uh, yeah. for the first down. Man, the, the linebackers there. and everybody coming. Are you going my way? Hop on. <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple more yards to go. You can ride, yeah, I tell you. You love to see a running back uh, keep those legs churning uh, even after the first contact. First and 10 on the 43 are the Panthers driving on the Delta Devils. Conley looking on the sideline. Man, I tell you some. <laughs> They got some funny signals out of there from the sideline. Usually, there's a a quarterback who's sending in signals to the other quarterback, but the uh, coach is doing it. Conley spins out of trouble. He's gonna run it. He's got the first down. Slides. Uh, I think he slid a little prematurely though. But he got the first enough for the first down. Yeah, Trayvon Conley. There was nothing open downfield. Uh, Valley did a great job with it, with their secondary on that. But Conley wisely pulled it down. Was able to get something out of it. Picked up about eight yards on that. Brings up uh, second and uh, looks like eight. Um, I'm sorry, second and two. Who's the quarterback for Buffalo? Josh Allen? Josh Allen. I saw Josh Allen. I, I think that was it was. Pretend like he was going to slide and kept, trucking, and kept trucking. Yeah, oh, man, that was a great play. Johnson right up the middle, taking three and four, trying to get to the first down marker. He'll pick up three yards on it and be a yard shy here the first down. We call it second and uh, third and three. I'll tell you what, Caleb Johnson doesn't go out down after the first lick. Never. Lot of Antoine will come in now. Never. Never. Bring another fresh set of legs in. Third and inches here for the Panthers. Ah. And again, here we go with uh, holding the barrel down towards <laughs> our foot. <laughs> Oh, I, I, you know, I, you know, it's got to be frustrating for the coaching staff. Man, you know, if, if I'm a senior, if we were seniors and we were doing that, man, we would have to do what Down you call right suicide. <laughs> well, we call them four by fours. Y'all call them, they call them suicides when you run from one field four times, one back, one back, one. Well, we call them, we call them uh, four by fours out here at Prairie View in the Panther land, but uh, some people call them suicides. And man, look, it's been some, it's been some. Oh, I don't want to say that. I'm going to say there's been some dead Panthers <laughs> from them suicides, but no, better not say that too late. Uh, and uh, Bloomfield thought he was going in and says, huh, wait a minute. Double slot, Conley with a wide open in the middle. Oh, come on. <laughs> wow. You, 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 you agree with that? Well, uh, well you, you agree with that? I mean, golly gee, Willis, there was nobody. If he would just ran fast as he could, 
<laughs> you know what I mean? You got to preserve your your first string quarterback. <laughs> I, I I totally agree with that. But golly gee, Willikers, there was nobody in front of him. Yeah. Well, I guess when the, the 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 grabbing of his jersey slowed him down, he says slowed no. him down a little bit. He was able to get the first down. Job done. Let's move to the next play. He could have got a touchdown there, man. I mean, he he runs a four five forty for God's sake. Here we go, Conley back in the shotgun, preserving. Throws it right across the middle. Wow, touchdown. Wow, easy, right across the yes, middle. Indeed. I saw that one from way up here. Ashton Stroman, a red shirt freshman from San Antonio, Texas, takes it in for the Panthers. Touchdown, good guy. I tell you, Conley did an excellent job. He looked off the safety and then left it one on one there uh, with the slot man. Easy touchdown, Trajan Spiller. That is textbook. That's how you draw it up. That's how you write it. That's how you film it. And that's how you teach it. Yes, indeed. Here comes Jasso. Out for the point after. Jasso's the everything man today. Snap is back. The kick is up. And it's good. The Panthers at 942 get back on the board here in the third quarter, 24 to 6. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more. Exciting Panther football. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs Prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here, and changemakers are bred here. Excellence lives here. Grandson, go get the TT 1200s. We're back live here in the Panther Stadium. Uh, <laughs> Need a new playlist. I'm sorry. We're gonna. We're gonna. That's. I'm gonna blame it on Cameron. He's the. He's. I'm not the engineer. I'm yeah. the voice. Right. He's the engineer. There you he's go. supposed to be doing it anyway. So, yes, uh, Cameron F. All right. Let's see here. Nine forty two left to play. Twenty four six. What about that? One yards. Four minutes and twenty eight seconds off the clock. Trey John Spiller with a nice touchdown from Trayvon Conley. And like you said, Panthers up 24-6, 20 yard, 28 yard touchdown pass and catch. Jesso with the swift kick right in the middle. Why? And he hits his leg. <laughs> he fell on his knees. Why? Why the swift kick? Uh, I guess uh, some pretty good uh, runbacks from the uh, Valley, from Mississippi Valley. So uh, I guess they say look, no more runbacks here. Yeah. And we're not going to have that. Well, they got some. That's their momentum plays of special teams. You want to. Keep that momentum sitting squarely over there on your bench. So probably smart just not to kick it deep and play a little defense because Valley has proven uh, they can't get the ball in the end zone. 24-6, 9.40 here in the third quarter of play. Here come the Devils with uh, Tajarian Williams at quarterback. Williams drops back, has a man wide open in the middle, uh, dives for it, but uh, just couldn't get it. Yeah, that time he had the slot, man. He was breaking open as a linebacker was, wasn't able to get back in that hook zone deep enough, but Panthers catch a break as they uh incomplete pass on that one. Second down and 10 for the Devils. Double slot, single set backfield. Wilson goes in the flats. They get it right Whoa. there to the receiver screen. Great job. Great play call. And the Devils get a first down. Chambers, the receiver on the receiver screen, picks up positive yardage for Mississippi Valley State. Tremendous play call as they were taking advantage of the Panthers and their aggressiveness getting upfield. A little middle wide receiver screen there, Terry. And like you said, Chambers able to take it across for a big gain here for the Delta Devils crossing across the 50 into Panther territory. First and ten for the Devils. Wilson in the backfield. I thought they were going to throw the screen to Wilson out there. He'll get the call right up the middle of the right side, uh -uh. riding him down, nowhere to go. Derek Ray Jr. is there, the senior from Richmond. Yeah, Derek Ray Jr. strafing off of his block, coming down the line, able to make the tackle there for the Panthers. Panthers with 375 yards of total offense here in the first uh, three quarters. 
Still got a lot of time in this second one. Efficient night thus far for Trazon Conley. 8 of 13, 244 yards and two touchdowns. That's what Coach McDowell wants to see from him. Well, the Panthers now um, gaining momentum. And uh, hopefully they can keep that momentum going. Williams is going to run it. Nowhere to go. And the Panthers are right there second down now. Call it a third down in six. Yeah, great job that time. Defensive lineman was able to stay at home and wait for that little quarterback uh, keeper there as that was a nice job that time by number 44, Warren Schenkel with the tackle. Wilson in the backfield, uh, double slot. Williams getting the call from the sideline. Let's see what little pressure Prairie per per dials up here. I see Shankle stalking over there, moving between defensive end and sitting out there at outside linebacker. Wilson right off the left tackle. Not enough for the first down. Great job. Good tackle there by the Panthers. Coming up off the bottom is Warren Shankle again, the junior from Houston, Texas. Yeah, Shankle at that time, he was able to drag him down as – Tell you what, that's a hard, tough running running back in Lewis. Fourth and one. Um, that's Wilson, too, Wilson, right? I yeah, say, yeah, yeah, Wilson, here he comes. They're going to give it back to him. They're going to try to quarterback sneak this one. Tush push. Nope, nope, tush. Uh, and they get it. And, oh, man, he rolls off the left tackle. And, golly, G. Willigers, we had him stopped. Yeah, I tell you what, he was able to find a little bit of room, like you said, off the left side. First down, Delta Devils, as they moved the ball down to the 29 yard line. First and ten for Mississippi Valley. And I'm already working on this next uh, – <laughs> we're going to get off that playlist. We're going to make sure <laughs> that we uh, – I got the TT-1200s. Go dust them off, grandson, and bring them on up here. I'll show you how to sweat the techniques. Here we go. Right side, Williams across the middle, throwing it to the W in the end zone. Yeah, a little pressure that time as the Panthers was able to get a hand in the face. He overshot that one. Fresh pass rush coming in here. Coach Lemke, the pass rush coordinator, has got him going. Well, thank you, Grambling. I'm I'm interested now <laughs> in what's going on on the bluff. Yeah. Uh, that's, man. Uh, going into halftime, uh, the Rattlers had a slight lead last we checked. When we last checked, here comes Williams. To the big tight end, oh, and there's nowhere to go. Jaden Johnson, I mean, just standing up the big tight end, Jacoby Thomas, the big 6'1", 240-pound grad student from Orlando, Florida, had nowhere to go. Nowhere to go, and Travion Green there to clean it all up. Nice job that time by the Panther defense, snuffing that out. Panthers really swarming to the ball tonight. Great game here so far by the Panthers. Still a good crowd here. A lot of folks still here in Panther Stadium watching the game. I'm glad to see that. Yes, indeed. Now, just now, now next week, now homecoming as it gets ready to come. When you come to homecoming, <laughs> don't come to the game. <laughs> don't just stay in the tailgate area. Come to the game and have some fun there with Charles go. and Charles. Here go. we go. Williams dropping back, looking left. There's a man wide open. It's caught. The big tight end catches it again, wiggles out of the grasp of the Panthers. That time, Freddie Bird the third with uh, some good defense coming up uh, with the big catch for Mississippi Valley. Again, Jackson Davis getting the job done. Is that 84 or 94? That was That's 84. 84. That was Jackson, Jackson Davis. Okay, I'm just checking this, making sure. Kind of look like a nine. Here. Well, what are they going to do? They're going to go for yeah, it here. They're definitely going to go for Panthers it. need a big defensive stand. No need to call timeout unless uh, you don't know what's going on. Got a single high safety. All the way at the top. Here comes the eye backfield, single set backfield, and then Williams goes back up. He's going to try to try to, draw. try to sneak it. No, <laughs> and he did. He drew his own, man. 65 <laughs> is yeah, the one that moved. Yeah, left tackle. Yeah, so that'll, that'll go back. It's a good strategy there. Yeah, trying to catch the Panthers sleeping. And it's it's weird how that happens sometimes. Out of offensive linemen, they're just trying to, you know, get it going early, and all of a sudden, Ball start. All right, we're going to try to kick a field goal. This is going to be a 50-yarder if uh, that's the case. All right, we're going to punt it away. It's going to be a 50-yarder? Yeah, okay. 45. 45-yarder. Okay, I'm five off. I'm sorry. There you go. You the math guy. 45-yarder <laughs> attempted here 
by Alexander Davis. It's long enough. It looks good enough. It's no good to the left a little bit, but, man, it was long enough and deep enough. All he had to do was about a foot over. He did it. Yeah, good job by the Panthers as they turn the Delta Devils back once again. Well, folks, uh, we'll take a quick break as we uh, get ready to get this uh, second one underway here. 425 left to play here in the third quarter, folks. The Panthers on top of the Delta Devils, 24 to 6. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word. It's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. Pioneers emerge here and change. It throws it, old man, in a good hit, man, wide open. And turn around is Makai Metcalf, the senior from Seattle, Washington, with a big pop. Yeah, great job. But not after he caught the ball and held on to it. Good yeah, catch. Great concentration by Makai Metcalf as he bore the brunt of that brutal hit, but he was able to hold on to the ball for a nice six yard pickup. And he's talking about it, too. Yeah, he's having had a happy time down there talking about, yeah, do it again. <laughs> well, catch it again. Second, call it four for the Panthers. Conley with a single set backfield. And they're going to hand it right off to Worsham. Ah, Worsham right there, man. One tackle to beat. One tackler to beat. And it would have been off to the races. You know, Ahmad Antoine that time, as he was able to fight through there, pick up the first down for the Panthers. Nice job. 331 left to play in the third. Jaquan Bloomfield checking into the game now for the Panthers. The deep threat. He's had some big plays tonight. And they're going to – and they won't Metcalf in there. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we got the set. Got to get the playoff under five seconds. Under five seconds, we got to do something. They're going to call okay, timeout. They re, did they re, yeah, they reset the play clock here. Okay. Had uh -oh. to make the substitutions there, so they reset the play clock. It's in our favor. Who cares? Trips left. <laughs> <laughs> Conley drops back in trouble, rolls right, just throws that one away. We're, we're – well – there's nobody over there. Threw it out of bounds, though. No intentional grounding there. Yeah, Conley, great job getting out of trouble. Safely throws it away. He's had an efficient game tonight, he, Definitely. He, he really has. Mm -hmm. 9 of 14, 250 yards thus far on the night and two touchdowns. Yeah, 13, uh, well, 12 first downs. Uh, and uh, let's see, 36 total plays? That's not bad. Yeah, not at all. Time of possession is what we're talked about, though. Time of possession, the Panthers have had it 15:45, and the Delta Devils have had it 24 minutes and 50 seconds. That's a, a testament to the defense. Yes, Double indeed. slot for the Panthers. Conley drops back at about the 30. In trouble. Spins out. He's in trouble, man. Yeah, oh. Nowhere to go. Spent the wrong way. Too much penetration right side, and now the Delta Devils are – Really having fun about it. Yeah, Timothy Williams that time for the Delta Devils. He uh, was able to contain Conley, forced him into that big sack that time. Now it's going to be third down and forever here for the Panthers. Call your draw plays, punt the ball, play a little defense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll, we'll have about 18 minutes left in this one. Yes, indeed. 24-6, folks, if you've just checked in. Sending shouts out to the tailgate area, to all of those who are watching uh, our YouTube channel on their phones, on their uh, casting, on the, to their TVs and everything. want to send a shout-out to you, especially those fellas at the Panther Club had hamburgers ready. Here we go. Quick shot. Right side. Breaking a couple of tacklers. Getting beat up really, really bad there is uh, <laughs> the Panthers uh, senior wide receiver, Shamar Savage. Or oh, he's a junior, pardon me. The big 6'4". Four guy. We won't have to punt it away. He just got out of trouble there a little bit, and here comes Jasso. Yeah, a little bit of breathing room there for Jasso. So, good job, Panthers. Efficient drive. and Wasn't able to get anything out of it. Punt play a little defense. Did you see the 67-yard punt uh, from uh, Oklahoma today? I did. <laughs> 60, you saw that punt? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, he really put his foot into that one. Jasso is not going to get 67, but, uh, hey, that's 50. 
And uh, a missed tackle lot right there on the one. Here come the Panthers. Ooh. Oh, man, almost. It looked like it looked harder than it was. Coming up with a big stop there, Kimball Jones. Kendon Jones, the senior from Indianapolis, Indiana, with the big tackle for the Panthers on the kickoff yeah, return. Nice punt. Drove back the Valley uh, return man deep, but he was able to All the way to the 15. Yeah, let's, to the 15. let's see. He's on the 25? Yeah, they'll put that spotted at the 25. 50-yard punt. Pretty good punt. I'll take that. I'll take Look it in. Bad guy. 50-yard punt. No, 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 no. That was 5, 10, 15, <laughs> 20. That, yeah, that's how that went. <laughs> Here we go. Wilson gets the call. Right side. Misses uh, a couple of tackers with a jump step and uh, gets around close to the first down. Yeah, good job that time by Wilson. Like you said, a little jab. Jump step there at the line of scrimmage was able to scratch out about eight yards on that nine yards, bringing up second and one here for the Delta Devils. Uh, time keeps on ticking, ticking into the future. 38 seconds left to play. Williams in the shotgun gets it, fakes it to Wilson. Oh, man. Oh, and it's out of bounds. Good defense. Great job. There by the Panthers, man, with the coverage, man, like a blanket there was Travis Pearson, Jr., the junior. From Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, Travis Pilsen did a great job getting that right hand in there, punching that ball out for the incomplete pass. Brings up third and looks like two yards here for the Delta Devil. I know a guy uh, in Houston named Charles Jr. Charles, Charles Jr. Jr. Okay. Yes, right. Named his son Charles Jr. Jr. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm lying, right? I just made that up. It was kind of getting boring, and I just thought I'd. Try to Throw that in there. Make it fun. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Williams in the backfield, folks. With a quarterback keeper, gets right up the middle, gets the first down, spins, but uh, he's going to pay for it, and they're going to bring it back forward. Progress will give him the first down, and that's going to probably close out the third quarter here. A good third quarter there for the Panthers as they were able to outscore Mississippi Valley. Nice little. Seven to three quarter. You always want to win your quarters. I always remember that from my head coach. Just win, win your quarters. Twenty four three. Everybody's putting up fourth quarters. We got one more quarter to play here in Panther Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around. We'll come back with the exhilarating fun fourth quarter after these important messages. I fly with the stars in the skies I am no longer trying to survive I believe that life is a prize But to live doesn't mean you're alive Don't worry about me and who I fire I get what I desire, it's my empire And yes, I call the shots, I am the umpire I sprinkle holy water upon the vampire In this very moment, I'm king In this very moment, I slay Goliath with a sling This very moment, I bring Put it on everything that I will retire with the ring And I will retire with the crown Yes, no I'm not lucky, I'm blessed Yes, clap for the heavyweight champ Me, but I couldn't do it all alone We, young money raised me Grew up out in Paisley Southside Jamaica, Queens and it's crazy Cause I'm still hood, Hollywood couldn't change me Shout out to my haters, sorry that you couldn't phase me Ain't being cocky, we just vindicated Best believe that when we done this moment We'll be syndicated, I don't know This night just remind me of Everything they deprive me of put, 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 put your drinks up it, it, It's a celebration every time we link up We, we done did everything they could think of C Greatness is what we on the brink of I wish that I could have this moment for life For life For life Cause in this moment I just feel so alive Alive We're back live action here Williams in the shotgun gets out of trouble and uh, enough for a uh, close to a first down. And the Panthers got to come up on defense here. Now we're in the fourth quarter. We need another score in two holds. I think we can just go ahead and pull this one out. No doubt about it. And you look back to uh, last week. It was the fourth quarter that was the downfall. You want to see that momentum that you've carried all throughout the game. You want to see it play out here in the fourth quarter and really put this game away. Second. And six, and the dead uh, whistle blows it dead. Might be a little clock malfunction. Yeah, fourteen thirty is on the clock. Uh, we'll see what the confusion is. Well, we got this stoppage in action. 
Uh, third quarter score from Baton Rouge. Fam, you on top of Southern 16 to 12. Reachable. Reachable. Third quarter. Third quarter. Lacumba. Where are you? <laughs> I'm a Southern Jaguar just for about for about 30 more minutes. I'm gonna be a Jaguar. <laughs> Folks, uh, there's a timeout on the floor, folks. We'll take a timeout with them, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around. We'll take a quick break and come back with more. Exciting. Uh, Panther football. Uh, uh. From my giddy view, I think I see his vision, too. Purple rain Mix over Central Park. Chilling Excellent. with my home. Big box. At Prairie View A&M University, excellence isn't just a word, it's a way of life. For 147 years, we've been empowering generations of students to carry our rich legacy of distinction with them as they blaze trails and make a difference in communities across the world. Our high caliber faculty and rigorous academic programs prepare scholars to challenge the status quo and push the boundaries of knowledge. T- season tickets, one Hill. Here we go, right side, quick pass over to Wilson. Wilson with nowhere to go, man. The Panthers are just all over him. Payback from the last two years, and they're getting fired up. I cussed. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> just having fun in the studio. Are we back live? Or are we? Done? Okay, we're back live here. Uh, won't you? Won't you hit that spot one more time? Uh, thank those sponsors one more time. We no, didn't catch it. No doubt, Panther Athletics would like to give a special welcome to all the season ticket holders. We thank you for your support and all you do for Panther Athletics. For all the latest news in Panther Athletics, visit www.pvpanthers.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at PVAMU Panthers. Yeah, folks, mark your calendars for November 10th. The Lady Panthers volleyball season uh, will end uh, for SWAC, that is, when they host Texas Southern at 6 o'clock p.m. on November 10th. That's really just like three weeks away. Yes, it is. So you got to really, really, we're going to pump this one up. We're going to try to get LL Cool J. We're going to bring Paul Wall, the People's Champ, Scarface, uh, cool Mo D. We'll we'll bring it. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really going old school. I was about to He's say, like, cool Mo D. Is he this. alive? No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> All right, here we go, folks. Uh, third and six on the 41 for the Delta Devils. The Panthers need one good defensive stop here. Williams dropping back, looking right, pump fakes now. He's in trouble. He's going to have to run it around, scrambles around the left side, has a man. It's way open and almost intercepted there on the 40-yard line. Who's just walking on? <laughs> Get up, son. He's walking <laughs> on his knees and stuff. That was uh, kind of funny. Some really, really good defense there by the uh, veteran Terrell Coleman, the junior from Rancho Cucamonga. Great job that time by the Panther defense. Defensive line coming alive. I tell you what, they chased him out of the pocket. Secondary doing a good job staying with their guys, forcing the fourth and six here for the Delta Devils. This is the energy we needed last week in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Where was it? (laughs) We'll take it here, though. Here we go. Here's the punt. It's a short, another short wobbler, and it's caught on the 30. Jenkins. That was a pitching wedge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ron Leverett, who uh, didn't show up today, by the way, he's fired. Um, <laughs> didn't uh, uh, hadn't been taking me out to get my to straighten my swing out. I I've been slicing just a few a few more times than I want. I need to get some more practice out been, there. You so been slicing it. Been slicing it like a pie. Okay. Like a lemon pie. I need you to turn your shoulders into the shot. I know, but I, I try to, but I have a bad knee. So when I do that, I kind of get a, well, Jonathan Stribling, Stribling calls it a quirk. Ah. You, get, you know, you get your little quirks or, or a kink or a catch. I get pain because it, so it hurts. Here we go. Good handoff right there. Clean handoff to Connor Worsham. Uh, looked like a close holler, a, a close, a horse collar. I'm still calling it clothes hang. I'm old school. See, I'm telling my age. <laughs> Made famous by Broderick Thomas of, ah, of, of yes, Madison did. High School. They, he changed the whole rules of UIL. They started saying, hey, listen, we're going to have to do something about this guy. Looks like we got Kobe Cavill checking into the game. Oh, he's excited. There's a nephew. All right. We, everybody, I'm going to tell everybody in the world. <laughs> Doc, he's in He's in the game. Yes, it Doc, did. he's in the game. Caught a big pass last week, man. Yes, he did. Sure did, man. I, that that kid's got that, man. He's got some speed. Yes, I, I, you know, he's he going to be all right for us. 
wide open. Great Kyler, he's going to slide. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, man, he just <laughs> – he didn't slide. He just kind of let him get on his back and, and carry him. Well, he, he did a great job that time. Oh, he absolutely. saw that thing open up as the uh, linebackers looked like they were – uh, blitzing uh, outside the guards that time, and it opened up like the I Red know, Sea. It was no, nothing there. Yes, it did. Third and one here for for, for PV. <laughs> What's funny? Here we go. Williams. Pardon me, Conley. And the shotgun there. Uh, to the left, is that Wisham to the left? Uh, can't see the two or three, man. Those, they're going to have to do something about that. Conley's going to keep it around the left side, and he's just watching and getting getting some yardage. Staying, he wanted to stay in bounds to keep the clock running, but he said, oh, i got to get out because I don't want to get popped here. Yeah, great play call that time. They they went for the little play action read action, and Conley was able to read the defensive end, keep it around the corner for a big first down here for the Panthers. 11.52 left to play in this one. The Panthers, uh, one stop, one more stop in, uh, uh, after this drive. They'll need one stop. I think Valley will get it back one more time. How many possessions you see in this game, Charles? Yeah, it might be uh, maybe. Four? Yeah, you might have at least four going. A okay. lot of Antoine in the backfield. Yeah, there's those big hands there from Conley. Had it uh, tipped, though. The ball was a little bit high. Conley getting on his center saying, hey, man, the ball is way up there in America. I'm, ooh, well, I'm I, not that tall. I'm not Charles Porter. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I think I think the center, uh, I think Chance Jones, he saw the blitz coming. Yeah, he yeah, he just to get, get, out, get out, out of there real yeah, quick exactly. so he can pick up the block. I'm trying to protect all of your ribs there, uh, Trezon. Yes, indeed. All right, here we go. Second and ten. Conley drops back, screen, right side, Cavill, nowhere to go. Good defense there. No block for him. Yeah, yeah. You got to, we got to fix it. One, they got a block for the man if you want him to score. I tell you, the coaches were looking at the uh, receiver out there, Trey John. They are looking like, right at Spiller, like, like are you what playing? Are you, doing? Are, you, exactly. are you here? <laughs> wow, no, no block there, man. It was set up too. I want Savage on those blocks, though. I want, a, I want the big baby on there on those blocks. Well, here's a. A receiver coming in the game. Coach McDowell talked about Chris Heron. He wanted to see some yeah, Chris Heron yeah. get some work this weekend. Oh, uh, he had a great he had a great week of football. That's why he good week of practice. Cavill in the slot. Conley. Oh man, side steps. Said, I'll just get another first down here, and we'll just keep that one going. Yeah, a little extra and, uh, a little there. extra regular. Is it a uh, hold on, guys? Come on now. No need for any of that. Come on. It's just a lot of – a lot of – stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Come on. That's enough of that. Didn't see a flag. Hey. Yeah, you want to get a hold of this. You get a hold of them right now. Is there a flag on the field right there? No flags No flags. Field. Okay, no flags. As a coach, come on, see, there's coach no ran out and was able to get in, get in the middle of that. That was Palmer, a, that, everybody that, that was a good deal. See, because last year, you know, at the end of the game, did you? I understand at the end of the game last year, there were a lot of what we like to call down south is who run. Mm -hmm. Do they say who run in uh, grammar? Yeah, they, they, I'm they, asking they, DJ, I'm asking our, our engineer, do we do know who run ranking, scoring, capping? What else could there be? I mean, the dozens, what else is there? <laughs> I don't know, there's four of them right there. What, they, 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 there was a lot of that going on at the end of the game, so I think uh, emotions might be a little bit high, but there's no need for that. These are two good teams and two, two teams filled with gentlemen. Okay, we got to be representative of our conference, our schools. And our family, so we're gonna do it in that order. But I tell you what, the coaching staff, when they see the quarterback down and the offensive lineman come and Moss to take care of the quarterback, they kind of like that. They'll, they'll mention well, that that's too. That, that's different. <laughs> yeah. that, that's different, you know, and that's different. But just all of that pushing and shoving and yeah. shoving and pushing, HR pushing stuff, no, none of that. That was a uh, Ace Ventura. Here we go now with the uh, trips left, Conley. One on one, that should be pass interference. There, no flag. I'm gonna say, are you are you gonna let the man just hold him? Or right, and you standing there looking right at him? I just wanted to run down there and give him these. Here, these yeah, and their glasses, folks. You can't see them here. The back just, judge had that one. I'm gonna <laughs> say, come on, man. Yeah, you. you know, I mean, he's grabbing them on the shoulder pad. Golly G. That time it was a nice call. That time, back judge on that Thaddeus Azor was like, no, I think I'm gonna toss this one. I want to send a shout out to Lola McIntosh, who is in, uh, I think it's Southwest Rehabilitation Center. Is it Southwest Rehabilitation? Yeah, my grandson. Yeah, that's it. 
Uh, my mom, uh, you know, broke her hip last week. <laughs> I mean, the add on everything. Last week, my mom broke her hip, fell and slipped, and mm. had to have emergency surgery, uh, hip replacement surgery. She was jogging this morning uh, on her way back to uh, the rehab. She. <laughs> She wasn't jogging for real, but she was. Uh, she's doing real well, thank good God. Job, good job. Here we go back right side. Hey, there's a helmet, and uh, Conley's just going to keep it and say, I'll take it out in here. Great job, Trazon. Yeah, I'll just take it with me. Wow. He's, he's been itching to get in the end zone. Can you kind of feel it in some of the runs? Yeah, I tell He's you. been itching to get in there. And here goes some more foolishness. Looks like we got an injured Delta Devil there in the end zone. Can't make out the number there. It's 23. The 23. Jameson Lindsey. Yeah, 23 is uh, the injured player. The Panthers with the touchdown. Great job that time. And Lindsey uh, wrenching in pain there. He is he's really hurt. Yeah. That was an 18-yard run that time for Trezon Conley. For Pater here for the Panthers. And the coaches, folks, while we got a minute, I uh, want to remind you, Houston Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine in Willowbrook is proud to be the official health care provider. For Prairie VNM University, the board's certified specialists use the latest technology and develop customized treatment plans to get you back in the game, Charles. So that bad ankle you got, that bad back, the knee, the arthritis, and the rheumatism can all be fixed at Houston Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Do they still have rheumatism? You better believe I'm just do. asking you because <laughs> rheumatism, sciatica, a whole bunch the sci of sci You the sciatica guy, but I understand. <laughs> uh, I know about the, sci the sciatic nerve. Oh, that is no fun. No We'd be like Mr. Brown. Say, oh, man, my situation hurting. <laughs> you mean your sciatic nerve? Yeah, yeah that too. <laughs> Let's take a look at some scores around the swag. And we mentioned uh, FAMU and Southern. FAMU on top of Southern 16-12 here in the third quarter. Uh Finals from today around the swag. Alabama State on top of Bethune Cookman, nineteen to fourteen. That game was in Montgomery. Alcorn with a big win over Gramlin. That was a homecoming win for Alcorn today, twenty five to twenty four. Jackson State knocks off Alabama A and M, forty five to thirty, in Lad People Stadium in the Gulf Coast Classic. How about this? It's thick in the sticks right about it's now, buddy. It stick. is thick <laughs> in the sticks. Harlan Robinson, I know you are celebrating <laughs> because uh, I know I'm surprised Stephon didn't go to homecoming. You know, Stephon's old. He used to go to homecoming all the time, being the all tonight that he is. Big time all And uh, yeah, and uh, he would go and hang out with Shirley and the whole nine yards, and everybody would be over Shirley House eating barbecue. Oh man, what a wonderful, what a wonderful life uh, this Southwestern Athletic Conference life, ain't it? It very much is. It's, it's, it's a great life, man. I yes, tell you, yeah. I would not change a thing. No, sir. No, sir. You got to love Charles, it. Charles, would you go back and do everything? You, what What have you learned? Absolutely nothing. I'm going to go back and do the same thing <laughs> the same way. The same. <laughs> I ain't changing nothing. They say not changing the thing. I'm not changing the thing. Well, man, uh, uh, quite, quite the concern down uh, on the field for Jamison Lindsay, the uh, junior defensive back from Gulfport. Mississippi has been on the ground quite a long time. Uh, yeah, he has. They're attending to him down there, and like he looks. Well, like he's coaching. moving. He, he's 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 able to move, and yeah. he's getting he's turning over. Thank goodness. Yes, indeed. Coaching staff down there, kind of surrounding him. Oh man, just it's just great to see all of the 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 head trainers just standing around, just trying to make sure. That uh, he's okay, man. I, I I I really like to see that, man. Yes, indeed. That's a show of solidarity Very amongst much. amongst sports information people. Yeah. You know, C.J. Potter is our is our uh, head sports uh, medicine person, and he's getting up, giving him a good hand. And he's going to go off. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. At least he's walking off under his own power. Under his own power. That's so that's a, that's a good sign exactly. here. Exactly. That's a good sign. All right. Well, the Panthers now, after uh, 30 minutes of waiting, and after 10 minutes of waiting, we uh, – oh, wow. Um are going to attempt the point after. Man, I am uh, elated at the uh, 
those of you who are watching the game, those of you who are Panthers, and also those of you who are Delta Devils watching, we want to thank you and welcome you to our program. The snap is back. The kick is up. It's good. 9-12 left to play here in the fourth quarter. Not a lot to go here. The Panthers are on top of the Delta Devils of Mississippi Valley State by a score of 31-6. to Stick around. We'll be back with more exciting Panther football right here on the Prairie View and University Panthers Sports Network. So, uh, gotta make you understand, girl. It's the way you dip your hair and your stylish clothes you wear. When you walk into the room, all my partners stop and stare at you. But they just wanna use you up. The it's the tattoo on your back in that brand new look. Welcome back to Panthers. Stadium. How's the playlist now, fellas? <laughs> y'all, y'all, don't get me started now. You know, I started off being a DJ. I, I, I wasn't always a sports announcer. I just look like one now. But, uh, I started off uh, uh, in 1972 at KYOK Radio as CP the DJ. A more history. A little bit more history. <laughs> My sister and I um, actually had the first uh, radio program targeted at the African American youth. Uh, you know, if not the first, one of the first uh, ever uh, in, on radio. So we're real proud of that. My dad made uh, saw to it that we were going to get his astute tutelage, and that's for sure. Well, he was a push and uh, a little pushing and shoving. Panthers will get it though. I mean, pardon me, the Delta Devils will get another try with 31-6 to six the score. Uh, but uh, back down memory lane, uh, my uh, sister um, did uh, Children's World, which uh, had a story from the Houston Chronicles mini page and also the Houston Post's uh, children's section. My, my dad, being a news reporter, got both newspapers, the Houston Chronicle and the Post. They were the two yeah. big papers here. Yeah. And we would get both of them, and we couldn't do anything until we read the editorial section and and butcher the words. <laughs> Ambulance. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Flashback. Oh, my God. I, just, I looked over my shoulder here. Here we go back to live action. Williams with a quick toss right side of the fleet flicker. Oh, they're trying to do some uh, dipsy doodling. And they throw it down deep, and there's a man wide open. Man. <laughs> uh, coverage. But uh, gee whiz, great recovery speed, Ahmad Robinson. Man, he can he can he fly? Man, and uh, no trickery here today. No no trickery. Yeah, for a second it looked like the receiver was going to break open. I thought, for Robinson, a second, I thought he was going to catch it. Yeah, Ahmad Robinson did a great job getting back on, uh, in that play, forcing the incompletion, second and ten here for the Delta Delta. Eight fifty six left to play here in the fourth. Back to. The lane. And then I was CP the DJ with the pick hit of the week. Couldn't see it. A lot of pops upside the head with the pick. <laughs> see, that's back in the day when they were real to real. We'll explain that in just a minute. Here comes Williams dropping back to pass at about the 35 yard line, throws it across the middle. Oh, big catch. That's big a, catch right a, through the hands of the defender. Yeah, good throw and catch that time. I thought PB had that one. I did too, man. Really Kirk, well. <laughs> man. Kirk Ross uh, catches that one for the big first down. Yeah, nice throw and catch that time for Valley for a first down. Tell you what, you know, they're 0 4, but they really do not look like an 0 4. They don't. They don't. They, yeah. they don't. They, they're playing together, there, and, and uh, they, they've got uh, – some bright spots on the team. Of yeah, course, Kendrick Wade really has this team looking really good. Yeah, and Williams is not a bad quarterback yeah. at all. Yes, indeed. Freshman. Some good good reads. He's a freshman, and he's got some time there. Quick pass right there in the middle, another receiver screen. They were successful with it before. And uh, running right down the middle for another first down. Oh, the Delta Devils coming up with that catch is number 19. Kobe Bates, the wide receiver from Daytona Beach, Florida. They can fly there. Kobe Bates has made some plays tonight. He had a nice kickoff return. He's made some great catches. And, again, a nice little receiver screen. They've taken advantage of the Panthers' aggressions across the front four there and was able to pick up a good first down there for the Delta Devils. Why do you think specialists, wide receivers, running backs, kick returners are so fast? Coming out of Florida. Here comes Williams. Oh, man, almost got stopped back there. Steps back, throws it in the middle. It's caught. Great job by 
Great job by Williams and good sportsmanship by the Panthers. Yeah, Tajarian Williams, uh, he looked like he had a lot of pressure on him that time, but he kept his eyes downfield, was able to complete, complete the pass. Another big first down here for the Delta Devils. And let's ask our audience out there, who those of you watching this on YouTube, why do you think that the receivers, running backs, the specialists uh, that come out of Florida are so fast? Why is there so much speed? They keep some guys down there. They everybody, can really, everybody, everybody can run down yes, there. Thaddeus Gamble is down there. It's from there. My frat brother, little pony, <laughs> is from uh, from uh, uh, now not running from the Gators, which you know could be. <laughs> but I seen the alligator. What you gonna do, <laughs> Williams? Oh, he's in trouble. Great defense, man, coming off the back end there, man. Wow, the Panthers. Uh, with a big stop, a huge stop coming off of there was Kendall Ken- Ken- Jones, the Richard senior from Humble, Texas. Yeah, Kendall Ken- Jones, he smelled that one out. He did not go for the play action fake that time. Came off the edge and was had the quarterback dead to red. Big sack there for the Panthers. Ten yard loss there. That's going to bring up a second and 20 for the Delta Devils. Still looking for someone who can tell us. Why they think that the uh, specialists coming out of Florida are so fast. And I'll tell you what uh, Double O told me one day. Here we go. Williams drops back to pass, steps up in the pocket at the 40. He's in trouble. And uh, the Panthers are all over him now. Now I think people are getting uh, just a little tired. Yeah, I'll tell you what. The Panthers are flying around six sacks tonight thus far. For the Panther defense. They're fired up. They're yes, fired they, up down they've there. They've done a great job tonight. Any 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 comments there? Let's see. Why people think that. No, no comments. No comments. Okay, nobody cares. <laughs> you got one? Erica Henderson says the playlist is jam. Well, you just – hold on for a second. I got something else for you. You think you like that? I got another one for you. I'm going to go real old school on you. All right. Thank you, Miss Henderson. The reason why is because uh, Double O says – Oh, almost interception. Thrown behind the intended receiver, Williams, and uh, they're going to call the – is that number six out there? Yeah, with Amar the defense? Amar, oh, well, they're going to call him with pass interference. Yeah, he's riding him down there. It's only going to give him 10. But on the third down, man, you didn't have to do that. And everybody, uh, the coaches are like, why? <laughs> Bubba's like, why? Let me get off. <laughs> And, you know, that's one of the things that he talked about. Bubba's a defensive back. Yeah, he's a defensive back, and he's like down and distance. Under- always understand down and distance. Bubba was the fr- the strong safety. Oh, yes, indeed. Not the free safety. Not a strong. The strong down safety. That's like the running linebacker. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the linebacker. That's a that, fast linebacker. That's yeah, that's all it is. is. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah, I remember uh, Bubba McDowell, Vernon Perry, uh, Chris Dishman. I, I remember that crew. Uncle Vernon. Dishman came out a little bit later after that. Um, Chris Davis, uh, Dick, no, I forgot. I'll tell you about it in a minute. Here we go, right side. Chris Dishman, yeah, he was one of them. Here we go, right side. Oh, man, and uh, somebody with some fresh legs, in there, and there's, there it is. There it is. Yeah, we got more fist Here cuffs. we go. Now, oh, boy, this is a Dottie Brook. This is a They're whole, not fighting. They're just wrestling. Just a whole MMA action down there. Oh, look, they're just diving on each other. Man, come on. That's just silly. It's been chipped Look, it, all it's, night. It's, yeah. it's, not one punch was thrown. Everybody just jumping on top of each other, jumping on each other's backs and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Look, y'all better cut this out. Both coaches out there out near the hash. They're trying to get control of this one. 448 left to go on this one. And, and you know, what's funny is <laughs> – What's funny is nobody's actually fighting. Yeah, they're just jumping on each other's backs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you, I, folks? I'm sure you're watching it. Nobody's really throwing punches. They're just jumping on each other's backs like they're like a bunch of big kids out there playing <laughs> jumping the bed. You know what I mean? Wow, gee whiz, gosh. Yeah, meanwhile, uh, we got a mark uh, off the bus. Yeah, but meanwhile, the Panthers are gonna <laughs> get the <laughs> snag for pass interference on this. Now, come on, get a big defensive stand and show them what you're made of. 
But my hat's off to the Delta Devils. They didn't come in here and lay down. No, not at all. Not well, at they all. thought they could beat us, really. I mean, yeah. again. I mean, they've the won time. the last two years in a row. So Kind of like know. what we thought last week with Grandma. I yeah. you know, <laughs> thought we were going to go back in there and just, and just do it to them. But uh, Grandma was ready. But I, I think that's the thing. And not coach, this weekend, though. The Sorry. coaching staff, they've talked about the parity in this league. Week to Absolutely. week, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't. And yeah. this and it's just so good. I mean, this is a really going to be a good season. Um, uh, uh, for for the Southwestern Athletic Conference, I mean Bethune Cookman, you know those are some teams that are one or two a play, uh, one or two plays away from doing it, and no f- flags. Nah. I thought there was gonna be some flags, yeah. and there was a lot of pushing and shoving, a lot of hand fighting on that one, but uh, good defense that time by the Panthers. Second and four, third, pardon me, and four for the Panthers. Uh, we can let them sneak out with a field goal. We need a good defensive stand here. Folks, homecoming in a couple of weeks. Next week, uh, Charles, I don't know where we're going to have around the SWAC next week. Uh, Rick will probably join us on Friday. I know you're at Texas Southern teaching on Friday. we got to kind of figure out a way that we can get you in there. But Saturday morning, uh, we plan to uh, possibly have breakfast with the team oh, and, and, uh, or something like that. Here we go. Wide open. It looks like a touchdown. It is. A yeah, push off catch. and a touchdown. Great catch. Yeah, great catch. Great catch. He pushed off on him. But that's okay. That's a touchdown. And the Delta Devils are, yeah, where's the flag? Somebody said it. It's the next door. Where's the flag? It looks like there's going to be a flag well, there on are the Panthers. Some flags. And now we got some, got some more just extracurriculars after the play here. It's three minutes and 47 seconds left to play in this one. We got to get out of here without any foolishness. Right. Man. You need to stop and call both coaches, meet at the at the at the Panther and say, You hold your guys, I'm hold my guys. Any of my guys come across this line, they're gonna be running till we play next week. You four by fours? We run until we play next week. Man, I used to have to run the whole loop in full pads. Coach P I don't know what it was. He just had it out for me. I'd be standing there watching what he listening to what he's saying. Porter, hit it. <laughs> hit what? The loop. I'd have to run around the loop. You know, my, my classmates run around the loop and they cause they Laughing. Porter, what you doing? What you doing this time, Pyro? Whatever, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. But that's what needs to happen. We need to get get a hold of this one now. We only got 347 left. Yeah, looking at the replay, that was a great job, Jackson Davis. Great, great, can- uh, I mean, great uh, catch. Great adjustment. Close to the corner, yeah. And, and a huge adjustment. Got the defender on his hip, turned him around, mm-hmm. shielded him with his back, and put the paws up in the front of you. That's a textbook, baby. Great job. I've done that a few times. I'm not going to call no names, Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Got a touchdown on Valley, in Valley, my junior year. Mm-hmm. And that was it. No, just <laughs> 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 well, here comes the point after. 31 12, the score. The Panthers really, all they need, really need to do is take a knee. Yeah, you know. I'll take a penalty and take a knee. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I, you know, I'm going to run the ball out. I'm going to try to get some of my. Run the ball, get you a couple first downs, and that should do it. Well, you just two. Yeah. That's all you need. You, all I you guess need. a couple is two. How many is a few? <laughs> three or more. There you go. See, you <laughs> F, F, DJ, F. He said just three. Here we're going to try the two point, con- yeah. two point conversion, and it's no good. Oh, man, they stopped him on the one. Oh, wow. Goodness, trickery. A little hook and ladder. Yeah, there. man. Did you see that, folks? Wow. And the uh, Panthers said, uh, no, no fire trucks here. We're, we are the fire man. Uh, get a little Wayne. We're the fire man. <laughs> All right? I mean, since, since people are liking my playlist, I got some more stuff for them, you know, because the Panthers, you know, they, they're. Okay. I uh, messed that one up. All right, folks. Here we go. The Panthers uh, kind of holding off. This is a television timeout. We'll stay here doing this with folks. And remind you, mark your calendar, folks, for November the 10th for the Lady Panthers as they host the season finale when they uh, host Texas Southern at 6 o'clock. Now, they got two weeks on the road, and then they come home. So, uh, for Texas Southern, it's also senior night. So, come on out and celebrate the Panthers and celebrate Coach Cherie Lindsay and Darcy Kaiser. 
who are kicking butt in Southwestern Athletic Conference. Also, Houston Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine at Willowbrook is proud to be the official health care provider for Prairie View and University. The board certified specialists use the latest technology and development to customize treatment plans to get you back into the game, even if you're on the bench. No, I'm just kidding. I just threw that one in there. Houston Methodist, another proud supporter of Panther Sports. Well, folks, uh, back deep, uh, the the Panthers are uh, the Valley. The Devil, Devil's kicking it off from the forty-five yard line. Yeah. Wow. You think that's going to go in? They're going to swift kick it to the twenty. Watch, because everybody's up. They're going to swift kick it right in between the thirty and the ten. Watch. That would be the okay. There you go. Now we got people back. That's the hands team right there. The good hands team. Oh no, they're foolish. Look at that hole wide in the middle. No, wow, oh boy, he had a lane right in the middle. Nobody <laughs> was paying attention. Yeah, he's super fast. <laughs> think he could have beat? I think he could. I yeah, think he could have beat. Okay, it's just me. Exactly. It's, just, it's just me, Brian yes, Jenkins, man. Brian. Look, he can fly, man. Brian I'm serious. This can guy can fly. fly. He runs a four four forty. So, <laughs> did you see that lane coming right down in the middle? It's like nobody was in between the middle hashes. <laughs> like nobody was there. Like I could have drove a truck right through there. But the Panthers are saying, no, we're not going to take a chance with any of this. We'll get uh, two first downs and call it, a, call it a day. Yeah, 346 left to go in this one. Like you said, get a couple of first downs and you should be able to ease off into the night. Kville uh, attempted to get in the game and they pulled it back. Get that kid in the game. I'm not saying that just because uh, Kenyatta's my – my classmate. Do you got to call your classmates like Dr. and uh, Ensign and Esquire and if you went to school with them? I ain't doing it. Uh, that's, uh, I had one of my friends, uh, I ain't going to call no name. Let's just say the person's last name well, is. It's, it's the byproduct is, of working hard for the doctor. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's call it. Let's see. Just say his name was John University, right? And I said, what's up, what's up John? Oh, that, that's Dr. University. No, it ain't. That ain't what your mama named you. That's what. That's the title they get. Gave you, sure, sure. you know, but that ain't, that's not your government name. What's your social security number? Let me see what your real name is. So I don't. I'm not into that. You know, well, <laughs> well, don't be my friend. Here we go. <laughs> is that Dumas in? Uh, yeah, Dumas has checked in for the Panthers. The uh, backup quarterback for Prairie View and him. Ken- oh, and that's Patterson. Wait a minute. Yeah, Dumas. Where's Dumas? Yeah, that's uh, number seven. Yeah, that's Kenneth Patterson, that's Kenneth the Patterson. sophomore from Cypress, right down the street, trying that's to get big. some time in. Where's Dumas though? Uh, Dumas is 14, right? No, uh, 15. Yeah, Channing Dumas, the redshirt freshman from Katy, wasn't in. Oh. Hmm. Didn't know. Well, I guess we can say that. I mean, I guess if he's not here anymore, he's just not here. Did he leave like today? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, I thought you said. I thought Cameron was saying that he quit the team, Cameron Hayes. But uh, no, he did not. I mean, maybe he's just on the sideline, didn't see him. Here we go, left side wide open. He's gonna keep it, man. Hey, I want some yards Woo! too. Whoa, a little pop, but you you jump up off of that one because the adrenaline is keeping you going. Yes, it did. Great run there by the freshman quarterback Kenneth Patterson, the sophomore, six footer. Got a little height on him, and a uh, big first down. That's uh, I think that's gonna be about all we need. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's, that's about. That's, uh, it's gonna be. It'll about take it under two minutes. Yeah, uh, we did two knees. There's 24 seconds on the shot on the play clock, right? Yes, indeed. Okay, so you got 24 and 24. Mr. Math is 48. Is 48 that correct? 48 it is. Yeah, that's a minute. So we've so got a uh, minute 47. You want to run a couple more plays. You're going to have to run two more plays. Yeah. You're right. Mm-hmm. I, dang, I thought I was right, but I'm not. Okay. <laughs> want to send a shout-out to the Panther Club. They're over there waiting for us in the tailgate area. My grandson, uh, he's got some growing up to do today. <laughs> 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 Here we go, left side, and uh, coming back with the big stop uh, on the for the Panthers. Pardon me for the uh, Delta Devils. Well, um, is that ninety four? Do you see a ninety? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side. There we go. My bad. That's ninety four. Lucas Banks. Yes. I'm like Lucas Banks is on Prairie's team. <laughs> There we go. So, big oh well. Banks for the for the Delta Devils. Yeah, he's a big one too. Six five two eighty. What is it? Where is he? Yeah, he's a big dude. If not that, about that. <laughs> yeah, he's a big one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we certainly uh, want to thank you for joining us here for today's contest. The Panthers are are, are going to win this one at home, and uh, we're excited for them. And, oh, a big run. Here comes another run. And they're going to the end zone. Is that Johnson? That's 22. That's a backup That's a backup running back. Somebody just got in the game. I think that was Is Demarius that Brooks. Is that Brooks? Yeah, number 27. It looks like it's uh, Samar from Memphis, Tennessee. Is that yeah, 27? Yeah, that looked like Jamarius Brooks. Well, let's make sure before we give him his, uh, his t- almost touchdown. 
Oh, what the heck? Jamarius Brooks? <laughs> what a run. <laughs> We're gonna give him some. We're gonna give him some stats today. <laughs> Jabarius Brooks. He ain't even on the team, but no, I'm just teasing. Yes, that team. was Jabarius Brooks. Jabarius Brooks. Brooks. Okay, <laughs> the sophomore from Memphis, Tennessee, and uh, that's gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. The Panthers will not run another play and uh, just uh, put the stake all the way in the hearts of the Delta Devils. But uh, I tell you, this has been a great game, folks, and we we sincerely thank you for stopping by and listening to to this one. Panthers running over there to uh, the band. And uh, a lot of, uh, well, some Delta Devils are are very happy campers about this. And we want to make sure that they stay on their side. We stay on our side. What a gentleman in the Christians. In 